Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. American Comics. Transform into Wanda and enter the question and answer space at the beginning. Chapter 81. With the outbreak of the Phoenix Power, not only Gaia's curse, but all the curses lingering on Mount Olympus were crushed to pieces by Chin's Phoenix Power at this moment. Such magnificent power made Zeus tremble. Even though Zeus knew that Chin was far more powerful than him, Zeus was still frightened when he truly saw the other party's power. With this level of power, let alone Zeus, even the planet under his feet could set off fireworks in the universe with someone else's flames. Zeus felt it and Gaia's curse disappeared. Zeus's expression became extremely complicated. Gradually, the flames of the Phoenix Force extinguished. Chin turned around and walked back to the Phoenix Temple. Meiti did not return to Zeus. She was completely disappointed with Zeus. She followed Chin into the Phoenix Temple, determined to stay here and not return to Zeus. Watching Meiti walk into the Phoenix Temple, Zeus opened his mouth to say something, but in the end he sighed and said nothing, turned around and left. When Chin burst out with the Phoenix power, this magnificent emotion and life energy was felt by almost all the old gods and all special people on the earth. All the gods were frightened. Some people with strange minds thought that this might herald the twilight of the gods, so they left the material world with their families and hid in a place called heaven to settle down again. The heavenly realm is a special area in the 10,000 celestials of the DC multiverse. Almost all the old gods will move there in the future, but there are still very few old gods who go there now. In the Phoenix Temple, life goes on as usual. Métis, who came here, had a room of her own, where she could safely give birth to the child in her belly. Métis discovered that, except for occasionally sleeping together, Wanda and Chin were both engaged in their own practices. She once asked the two of them why they still need to practice when they are already so powerful. Wanda answered her question, in the face of real power, we are still ants. This sentence shocked Meiti greatly. Meiti dared to say that Wanda and Chin were definitely the most powerful individuals she had ever seen in her life. Not even Gaia could compare to them. It was hard for her to imagine that the so-called real power Wanda said could be a kind of power. What kind of concept? Maybe I should also find a way to become stronger. If I were stronger than Zeus, things like that wouldn't happen before. Meiti came to this conclusion. A strong power is the only way to control one's own destiny. For a while, while giving birth to her child, Meiti thought about how to make herself stronger. She felt Wanda's magic was very powerful, so she came to ask Wanda for advice from time to time. Wanda simply made a copy of the Harry Potter Magic Encyclopedia and gave it to her. Anyway, the Harry Potter Magic Encyclopedia is very important to Wanda now. It is no longer a precious thing, and the power of magic in the Harry Potter series is just that. Someone will ask here, isn't Meiti a goddess? The goddess still needs to learn this kind of magic, doesn't she have it? Divine magic. Meiti does know some magic such as mind reading, super speed thinking, sensory enhancement, super intelligence, etc. Métis can even learn AF. Orain language in a few seconds, but these are not usable as for the means of fighting. Magic is different, there are many tricks to this thing. In fact, in the future, many gods of the Olympus pantheon will master magic, which is magic they have spent a long time to figure out. Got Métis from the Harry Potter Encyclopedia of Magic can save herself the time of pondering and systematically learn the knowledge of magic. Then she can use these as a basis to develop her own magic. Métis it only takes a few seconds for her to learn a foreign language. With her super intelligence, if she gets this magic book, she will be able to quickly innovate and develop a magic system that is unique to her. As time passed, Métis gave birth to two children. The children were a boy and a girl, and she named them Poros and Athena. When Poros was 15 years old, Wanda asked Meiti to send Poros away on the grounds that the Phoenix Temple did not accept male creatures. The 15-year-old Poros inherited the looks of his father Zeus. He was an extremely handsome classical handsome boy. After he was kicked out of the Phoenix Temple, he went to live with his father Zeus. Because Gaia's curse was broken, Zeus no longer feared his son and officially accepted him. Athena, on the other hand, stayed in the Phoenix Temple like her mother, learning magic with Métis, researching and developing new magic. As for Wanda and Chin, they figured out a way to master their own power by sleeping, and they fell into a long sleep. 
The place where they sleep is protected by a barrier, and they are not afraid of being disturbed. Time flies, 10,000 years have passed like this. Mother and daughter Métis and Athena did not always stay in the Phoenix Temple, but occasionally went out. After 10,000 years of magic practice, the mother and daughter have developed many powerful new magics, and their strength is catching up with Zeus. Together, Zeus may not be their opponent. However, Métis didn't like fighting and killing, so he didn't take revenge on Zeus. He just stayed away from Zeus until death. Athena didn't care about the grudges of her parents' generation, so she agreed with her father to take the position of main god and became the main god in Olympus. It is worth mentioning that Zeus had three new wives during these 10,000 years, namely Zeus's aunt Themis, the goddess of justice and order, Zeus's cousin Eurynum, and Zeus's sister Demeter Yu. Zeus also had new children. She and Themis gave birth to the three gods of destiny 5.1. He and Eurynum gave birth to the three goddesses of grace. He and Demeter gave birth to Persephone. Zeus is working hard, constantly adding bricks and tiles to Olympus, making Olympus more and more lively. For these new gods, the Phoenix Temple on the Sacred Mountain has always been a relatively mysterious place. They know that Métis and Athena live there, and they also heard that there are two mysterious beings living there, but the specifics or few gods know who it is. Athena and Métis did not publicize Wanda and Chin to the outside world, and Zeus did not want too many people in his own pantheon to know that there were two goddesses in the Phoenix Temple who were stronger than him. This creates an extremely mysterious charm for the Phoenix Temple. Wanda, who had been sleeping for 10,000 years, woke up on this day. She sat up in a daze, looked next to her, and found that Chin was still sleeping. She did not disturb Chin, but first sensed the passage of time and learned that she had been sleeping for 10,000 years. But to be honest, she couldn't feel the passage of time at all when she was sleeping. When she woke up, she didn't feel that too long had passed. She felt her body again and found that after 10,000 years of sleeping, her control over chaos magic had improved a lot. Although it was not yet to a subtle level, she believed that as long as she slept for a few more years, her control over chaos magic had improved a lot. In 100,000 years, one can definitely reach that state. She sensed the outside world and found that Zeus had a new wife, and many new gods appeared on Olympus, which became more and more lively. Athena became the goddess of wisdom and one of the twelve main gods. Wanda observed Athena and found that she had inherited the beauty and wisdom of Métis. She was the most beautiful of the Olympian goddesses and the most beloved daughter of Zeus. Wanda did not see Hera in Olympus. Hera had not yet become Zeus's wife. Hera had not married Zeus, so Hera's son Ares would not have been born. The non-existence of Ares means that the first invasion of Earth by Darkseid from Apocalypse is still far away. After all, Ares took action in that incident. Wanda observed the outside world for a while, then fell into a deep sleep again. In the tens of thousands of years that followed, Zeus's three wives fell out with him and ran away from home one after another. So Zeus had a fifth and sixth wife, Nemozine and Leto respectively, and another having a new baby. Nemozine gave birth to the Muses, and Leto gave birth to Artemis and Apollo. Olympus is getting busier every day. Fifty thousand years later, Jean Grey wakes up. She found that Wanda was still sleeping. She observed the outside world and felt her body. The phoenix power in her body has completely lost the phoenix's will, replaced by her own will. In other words, she has completely made this power her own. This greatly increased her strength, surpassing the heavenly father level and reaching the single universe level. But this is the limit of Jean Grey. Unless she can swallow the phoenix itself, she will only be able to stop at the single universe level. But Chin is satisfied because she knows that she no longer has to worry about losing control of her abilities. Having achieved her goal, Chin did not choose to continue sleeping, but came out of seclusion. In the hall of the Phoenix Temple, Métis and Athena were chatting here. They saw Chin F. finally waking up after sleeping for a hundred thousand years. Métis stepped forward in surprise. Chin, you are sleeping now. It takes a long time to sleep. How long have I slept? It's been a hundred thousand years, Métis said. Chin was stunned when she learned that she had slept for so long. When the two were communicating, Athena also came forward to greet her. For Athena, she had only met Chin before she was fifteen years old, 
Chin fell into a deep sleep after she was 15 years old. Until now, her impression of Chin is almost blurred. Is Wanda still asleep? Mei-Ti asked Chin. Well, she'll probably be asleep for a long time. Some time later, Chin teamed up with Mei-Ti and Athena, left the sacred mountain Olympus, and began to travel around the world. During this period, they met in a beautiful valley in Greece and lived in seclusion here. Hera. Hera didn't know Chin, but she knew Mei-Ti, and knew that it was because of Mei-Ti's help that she was able to come out of the belly of her father Cronus. Today's Hera is not the wife of Zeus, so naturally there was no reason to be jealous of Zeus's wife, so she was still very friendly to Mei-Ti. She learned that several people were traveling around the world, so she joined their travel group and traveled around the world together. This trip lasted for many years. It was not until a hundred years later that Chin, Athena, and Mei-Ti returned to Olympus, and Hera returned to the place where she had previously lived in seclusion. After having enough fun, Chin continued to sleep. This time she wanted to sleep until the future. Another hundred thousand years passed. On a heavy rainy day, Hera, who was living in seclusion in a certain valley, saw an injured cuckoo bird. The kind-hearted Hera took the bird away. He took it back and treated it. Unexpectedly, the cuckoo bird suddenly transformed into the big-breasted Zeus, and Hera was killed on the spot. Afterwards, Hera looked at her brother with hatred. Zeus seeing that Hera was about to beat her, she quickly promised to make Hera the queen of heaven and share her rights in Olympus. Hera reluctantly forgave Zeus. From that day on, Hera became the queen of heaven. She also she gave birth to a child for Zeus. However, the first child was suppressed to the center of the earth by Zeus because of the appearance of a certain fable. After that, Hera gave birth to several children to Zeus, including the fire god Hephaestus. Zeus, the god of war Ares, the goddess of youth Hebe, and the goddess of discord Eris. So far the twelve main gods are complete, and Zeus's Olympus pantheon is finally complete. It can be said that this pantheon is almost the work of Zeus alone. It was cultivated through hard work. Or if tens of millions of years pass. As the goddess of marriage and fertility, Hera felt sorry for the suffering of women in the world, so she collected the souls of many female human beings who died tragically, and then brought in Hestia, Demeter, Aphrodite, and Artemis. Athena, Athena, and even Meti, many goddesses joined forces to use these female souls to shape a race, which was the Amazons in later generations. However, these Amazons did not live on Paradise Island from the beginning. Their home was located somewhere in the mountains in Greece, forming the Amazon Mountain Kingdom. Not long after the Amazons appeared, Poseidon created the Atlanteans. And if thousands of years pass, the invasion of Earth by Darkseid from Apocalypse finally happens. The gods, the human kingdom, the Amazon kingdom, and the Atlantis kingdom joined forces and a fierce war broke out with Darkseid's Apocalypse demonoid army. The demon-like army on Apocalypse was endless, and the Earth Alliance suffered heavy casualties. Fortunately, the Green Lantern from Sector 2814 arrived in time and participated in the war, which prevented the situation from deteriorating further. Zeus felt that problems would arise sooner or later if this continued, so he asked his daughter Athena to go to the Phoenix Temple to invite the two ancestors to come out. Wanda was invited by Athena. Under everyone's shocked gazes, she turned all the demon-like army of Apocalypse into ashes with one move of chaos magic. Darkseid, who is still relatively young and not as powerful as later generations of the new gods, was immediately frightened and rolled and crawled open the sonic boom channel to escape from the universe. The Earth Alliance forces were all stunned by this scene. Even Athena, who had been living in the same temple with Wanda, was shocked. She knew that Wanda was very strong, but she never thought that Wanda could be so strong. The other party just waved his hand and wiped out Darkseid's army without even using all his strength, and even scared the powerful Darkseid away. This is too exaggerated. Zeus looked at the woman in the sky surrounded by scarlet energy, and the corners of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. When he agreed to let Wanda and Chin live in Olympus, he invited two, ancestors, back to Olympus. Zong, fortunately those two, ancestors, are not interested in power, otherwise he will never be able to keep his position as god-king. Wanda in the sky lowered her head and glanced down. She saw Zybo from the front of the Amazon army formation. Loot, that is the biological mother of the magical girl Diana. 
She did not expect that Diana's biological mother already existed hundreds of thousands of years ago. She looked extremely young, upright and beautiful as a flower, and she had with the blessing of the goddess, her appearance is very similar to that of Wonder Woman in later generations. She has the sword of Vulcan, the lasso of Mantra, and the championship helmet. Even her strength is similar to that of Diana in the movie version. This proves the reason why Diana was so powerful in later generations may have nothing to do with her demigod bloodline. She looked at the Atlantean military formation again and saw the man who was regarded as a legend by later generations of Atlanteans, holding the three prongs of Neptune. The halberd stood there, majestic and majestic, no weaker than the Amazon queen. Wanda sighed with emotion, then turned around and disappeared into thin air, returned to the Phoenix Temple and continued to sleep. After this battle, Olympus the gods finally had a basic idea of the mysterious existence in the Phoenix Temple, and knew that it was a super goddess that was unimaginably p. Powerful. Time flies. Millions of years have gradually passed since Wanda and her relatives arrived in ancient times. In the modern era, Olympus was moved out of the material universe by Zeus to the heaven. Zeus believed that in this era when new gods were born, the gods should keep a low profile, so he weaved a lie that the gods would die, and asked his relatives to his son Ares took the blame and announced to the outside world that Ares suddenly went crazy and slaughtered the gods of the Greek pantheon. Ares was very angry about this. What did I do? I have to take such a big blame. Angry Ares Ares, came to the world to cause trouble, and happened to be involved in World War I. The story of Wonder Woman began. Ares felt that he deserved to die, otherwise is the only, survivor, and, culprit, of Olympus, the sense of existence should not be too high. This may not be a good thing, so he was deliberately, killed, by Diana and retired. Time continued to pass and came to the modern era. Wanda and Chin finally woke up from their slumber. The two people who woke up have made great progress in strength. Wanda can already control her own chaos magic to a subtle extent, and Chin can also control the power of the phoenix to a subtle extent. The external manifestation of the subtlety is the absolute control of energy, which can control energy. One point of strength exerts 100% of the power. Being able to do this, not to mention that the strength has increased a hundred times, but it has definitely increased ten times. Even if it is still a single universe level chin, in terms of ability alone, it can exert close to the power of diversity. And Wanda is close to the peak level of diversity. Let me just say that a retreat would be good for us all. Wanda said proudly. It's been a really long time. Chin was very emotional about this. She felt it was unreal when she thought that she was now a million year old girl. Let's go and see what Olympus has become now. Um. The two of them came out of the retreat together. They found that in the other two rooms in the Phoenix Temple, Athena and Métis were also sleeping. They seemed to be undergoing some kind of magical transformation. Once the transformation was successful, they would all will have magical power that is superior to that of the Heavenly Father, but they may still need to sleep for a while, even if they sleep until the new 52 era, it is not impossible. The two did not disturb the sleeping mother and daughter of the goddess of wisdom, but came outside, look around Olympus. Olympus is no longer in the material universe, but in a rather empty and extremely vast space. This space is no smaller than the outer universe. The Olympus mountains are floating in this space. Quite far away from here, there are still the territories of many other god systems, such as the Egyptian god system and the Gautianyuan god system. The people who will be here are basically the old gods of various eras, as well as old gods from other planets. The absolute best among the old gods. Most guys have fallen into a deep sleep, changing their existence structure in some way to adapt to the arrival of the new era. Perhaps the gods have allegorized the crisis on infinite earths, and the era of the old 52 and the new 52 will come soon. They are all preparing for this. Of course, the above are all Wanda's speculations. As for whether this is really the case, Wanda is too lazy to pry. Since the gods of Olympus have gone to sleep, Wanda is too lazy to pay attention. Here, she focused her attention on her pocket space to see how the daughter's kingdom would develop in a million years. Millions of years later, the population in Wanda's pocket universe exploded, and the number was countless. The civilization of the daughter kingdom has entered the interstellar age. 
It's not the technological version of the interstellar age, but the magical version. There are no spaceships here, but there are magic energy ships. This is not a technology derived from secondary chaos magic, but a new system of magic developed by the daughter kingdom civilization itself. This system can convert electrical energy into magic energy, and by driving magical devices to cast magic. Such magic is not borrowed power and can be used without any cost. There are large-scale magic energy devices and small-scale ones. Large-scale magic energy devices can be installed on various large-scale magic instruments. Small ones can be carried around or mounted on a staff for use. The Magic Energy Airship is a magic energy transportation tool developed based on this system. It can move at the speed of light in the universe. Since the first Magic Energy Airship was successfully developed, the daughter country has entered the era of interstellar immigration. By a million years now, the daughter kingdom has occupied tens of thousands of planets in the pocket universe. A series of interstellar portals have been established between planets, allowing residents of the daughter kingdom on different planets to travel freely to different planets. The prosperous daughter kingdom is still governed by the female vision. Female vision managed her country very well, war never broke out, the people lived a happy life, and there were no problems for such a long time. Wanda looked at 070, the daughter country that she almost couldn't recognize, and was dumbfounded. In particular, she also discovered that even after millions of years, the faith of the daughter kingdom has not changed. They still believe in her, and she even feels the legendary power of faith from it. If it weren't for a wrong worldview, Wanda could be sure that as long as she absorbed those beliefs, she would definitely be able to ignite the divine fire and condense her divine personality in minutes to become a new Yangshan with full divine power. Just as Wanda was observing the pocket universe, the sound of the question and answer system sounded in her ears, reminding her that she had completed the S-level authority trial task. All functions of the question and answer space were fully open to her. Only then did she turn her attention away from her own pull back in the pocket universe. After leaving Olympus, Chin and Wanda came to New York on Earth. In the 600th world, New York City is not the center of events. DC and Marvel are different. Superheroes are not gathered in New York. Each hero has his own territory. Such as the Flash's Central City, Batman's Gotham, Superman's Metropolis, Green Arrow's Star City, Green Lantern's Beach City, etc. Coincidentally, the cities where these superheroes are stationed are all coastal cities. The two bought an apartment in New York City as their home in the world. After moving to a new home, Chin asked, Let me cook you a big meal. What do you want to eat? As long as it is made by you, I like to eat it. Wanda said. So Chin went to the kitchen to prepare for the first dinner after moving to the new home. Wanda took the opportunity to enter her own Q&A space and see the final permissions she had obtained in the Q&A space. All permissions in the Q&A space all of them have been open to Wanda, such as the plane teleportation function. In the future, when she wants to go to other planes, she will not have to go through the trouble of exploiting system loopholes to sneak into other planes. She can just teleport directly. The plane teleportation function can also teleport the audience in the question and answer space. In other worlds, for example, allowing Iron Man to enter Batman's world, Wanda can also use the task function of the Q&A space to issue tasks to the audience. Seeing this function, Wanda felt that if she wanted to, she could definitely play with the Q&A space. It has become an infinite flow main god space. In addition to the above, some scattered small functions have also been unlocked, which W.I. L.L. not be introduced one by one here. Wanda is going to hold another Q&A to try out the new functions. If you are in D.C., just let Natasha and Stark not come in for now, she wants to find the audience from the current plane. Soon, a new Q&A live broadcast begins. In the Q&A space, three people appeared, they are the bats of the DC movie universe Batman, Wonder Woman, and Kara Danvers, the Supergirl of the DC Arrowverse. Batman and Wonder Woman have both been here before, so they are relatively calm, but Kara Danvers, who came here for the first time, was she looked confused and confused. This Kara Danvers is the protagonist in the American TV series Supergirl, but she has not yet debuted as a superhero. Not long after she arrived on Earth, she was sent to the Danvers home by her cousin Clark Kent, is now attending high school in a town called Midvale. In addition to the above three, 
Wanda is of course also here, but she has a new image, no longer her original appearance, otherwise Batman will definitely guess it what. The last time Batman entered the Q&A space, Stark and Natasha discussed the issue of Banner and others being disqualified from the Q&A. At that time, Batman was listening. If this time Wanda had originally the image appeared, but Stark and Natasha were not here. Bruce Wayne would definitely think that this question and answer space might be related to Wanda. The new image of Wanda pretended not to know anyone, and she looked wary. Looking at everyone, he asked, where is this place? Did you kidnap me here? I also want to know where is this place? Kara Danvers also spoke. Diana Prince looked around and found that there was no one she knew here, and felt strange. Where have the original people gone? Bruce Wayne didn't see him here either. Acquaintance, he didn't know Diana yet. Diana Prince introduced this place to several people. Listening to Diana's introduction, Bruce Wayne knew that Diana, like himself, had been here before. Bruce Wayne pondered for a moment and decided to pretend that it was his first time here. Batman always likes to hide himself in the dark, which is very Batman. After listening to Diana's introduction, Kara Denver C was surprised, this Q&A space is so magical. I'm Diana Prince from Paradise Island and you guys. Diana introduced herself. Kara Danvers is a high school student in the town of Midvale. Kara did not reveal her Kryptonian identity, only her identity on Earth. Bruce Wayne, Gotham Entrepreneur. Bruce Wayne introduced himself. Diana looked at Bruce and said, I have heard of the surname Gotham Wayne. So you and I are in the same world. But I have never heard of Paradise Island. Bruce Wayne said. This is normal. Paradise Island is protected by a magic barrier and is not known to outsiders. Diana explained. Bruce Wayne nodded silently. He silently recorded the information about Paradise Island in the little black book in his heart, and decided to investigate it when he returned. My name is Ninian, and I am a remnant of the ancient times. Wanda made up a new identity for herself. After all, she has changed her appearance. If she uses the name Wanda to introduce herself again, what's the point of changing her appearance? Remnants of ancient times. How long ago in ancient times? Diana was curious. Long enough. Wanda didn't explain. Diana didn't ask any more questions. Bruce Wayne thought of something. This name reminds me of the three fairy sisters in the lake in Celtic mythology. Since Bruce came here last time to participate in the Q&A, he has seen the Nordic gods from the video. After returning, he asked his butler Alfred to collect myths from various countries, so he is no stranger to the name Ninian. Hearing Bruce Wayne's guess, Wanda neither admitted nor denied it. At this moment, the question and answer system sounded. Welcome to the multiverse Q&A space. This space will randomly select characters from different worlds, come here to become a lucky viewer and participate in the video Q&A. There are rewards for correct answers and penalties for wrong answers. The video starts playing. This time it's Resident Evil. But it's not the movie version of Resident Evil, but the game version of Resident Evil 2. In the picture, a woman wearing a red jacket appeared. She was a college student, riding a motorcycle overnight from the next city to Raccoon City. She rushed back because she couldn't contact her brother Chris Redfield for a long time and was worried about his safety. When she drove to a gas station about 10 kilometers away from Raccoon City and was about to refuel her motorcycle, she found that the atmosphere at the gas station was strange and unusually quiet. She even found a pool of blood on the ground. The screen goes black and a question appears. Question. What happened at the gas station? A. Encountered a robbery. B. There are zombies here. C. The air raid sirens sounded and people took refuge. D. Everything is normal here. The pool of blood was very fresh, and it would not have appeared for more than half an hour. Bruce Wayne analyzed. Mr. Bat is a very powerful vigilante detective. After he saw the pool of blood, he instinctively analyzed the relevant information. It seems that options D and C can be eliminated. Diana nodded. It is said in the video that this female student rushed to Raccoon City overnight because her brother lost contact and there was a problem with the gas station only 10 kilometers away from Raccoon City. Can we assume that there is something wrong with Raccoon City? There is also a problem. If my guess is correct, there will be no robbery at the gas station. This is impossible, I have only seen zombies in movies. Kara Danvers said weakly. 
Just because you haven't seen it doesn't mean it doesn't exist, I've seen something similar. Diana said. Her uncle Hades can turn dead people into zombies, so she is no stranger to zombies. Events that can be played in the Q&A space will definitely not be small events. The answer is probably B. I choose B. Bruce Wayne replied. Bruce Wayne answered correctly, congratulations on getting the reward. T-virus side effect free enhancer a syringe appeared in Bruce's hand, containing green liquid. The introduction to this biochemical agent came to Bruce's mind. T-virus, the full name of Tyrant Virus, is a biochemical virus created by Dr. James Marcus by studying the ancestor virus born on the sun staircase flower and cultivating it in leeches. It has extremely strong infectivity. People or animals infected with this virus will turn into zombies within an hour. But there are also a very small number of people who can withstand the transformation of the virus and become stronger. This virus has been modified by the question and answer space to eliminate side effects and can 100% strengthen people. Bruce Wayne did not choose to inject it, but put it away, preparing to test it when he returned to see if he could cultivate more T-virus enhancers without side effects. If you want to take it back for research, I advise you to give up this idea. I don't know what the T-virus is, but I think it has something to do with zombies. If one goes wrong, it will cause a terrible plague. Diana said. Diana has lived in the human world for so long. She knows that there are some arrogant guys among humans who always think they can control everything, but it turns out that they can't control anything. GN cause a lot of trouble. She feels that Bruce, that's the kind of guy Wayne is. I know what I'm doing, I don't need you to remind me. Bruce Wayne said solemnly. I hate people like you who think you can control everything. I advise you to inject it here, otherwise I will not let you take such a dangerous thing back. Diana warned Bruce that she did not want a biohazard to happen in her world. Bruce Wayne frowned. He and Diana looked at each other, neither of them compromised. Wanda said. I think what Diana said makes sense. Mr. Wayne, I think it would be better if you inject the T-virus now, or else you should destroy it. I have watched a lot of zombie-themed movies. Those zombie crises caused by viruses will, without exception, cause the end of the world. Your selfish behavior will bring trouble to your world. Kara Danvers followed up and said, I think so too. Three against one, Bruce Wayne finally didn't insist anymore, because what they said did make sense. Even though he still thought he could control everything, he still took out the T-virus non-side effect enhancer. He hesitated for a moment, he gritted his teeth and injected it into himself. The strengthening process of the T-virus was simple and crude. Less than half a minute after his injection, his skin turned pale and his body broke out in cold sweat. He was obviously enduring great pain. Wanda took a step forward, with a green light shining in her hand. She cast a healing magic on Bruce to ease the pain of the other person. Ninian, are you actually a magician? Diana was surprised. Um. Wanda nodded. It turns out that magic really does exist. Kara Danvers is curious. Little girl, there are still many things you don't know. Wanda chuckled. Not long after, Bruce Wayne's enhancement ended. He felt his body and found that all aspects of his body's quality had improved, and he even had an additional superpower called telekinesis. But he did not use telekinesis in front of everyone, he wanted to keep this power as a trump card. A trump card can make a comeback at a critical moment. Once the enemy knows that he has this ability, he will not be able to have a surprise effect. Bruce Wayne looked at Wanda deeply, and wrote down the information that Wanda was a magician with healing powers in the little black book in his heart. The video continues. Claire entered the convenience store of the gas station, and sure enough she saw zombies and even a dead police officer inside. Claire looks relatively innocent and seems harmless to humans and animals, but she has a character that is not afraid of anything. When she faced zombies, except for being frightened at first, she showed calmness and courage after that. On the other hand, I found a pistol from a convenience store and faced off against the zombies. Today's college students are so brave. Diana admired Claire's style. We high school students are also very courageous, okay. If it were me, I would be able to knock zombies away with one punch. Kara Danvers said proudly. Oh, you are great. Asked Diana. Of course. Ever since Kara came to Earth, she has been taught by her adoptive parents not to reveal her abilities. 
She has been holding back her abilities for a long time. Now that she has come to a place like this and found that there are people with extraordinary powers, she feels like she has finally met them. They have the same feeling, so they no longer hide their extraordinary features. The scene continues, Claire escapes from the convenience store, but finds many zombies in the gas station. Fortunately, the actor Leon Kennedy appears in time and saves Claire. The two drove away from the gas station and spoke in Raccoon City dialect. At this point in the video playback, the screen went black again. But this time there were no new questions. The question and answer system issued a task to everyone. Mission. Enter the world of Resident Evil, rescue Sydney Birkin, and take her away from Raccoon City. Tip. This task is not mandatory. You can choose to accept it or not. Completing this task is equivalent to answering the question correctly and you will get a reward. Bruce Wayne and Diana Prince were stunned. This was the first time they encountered this situation. In the past, it was just a question and answer session, but this time the audience is asked to enter the world in the video to perform tasks. What is this? Question and answer system version upgrade. Kara Danvers felt that she could finally use her skills. She said excitedly, I accept this task. Wanda, whose pseudonym is Ninian, also said, I am also very interested in this, and I accept it too. Diana Prince said, go explore the parallel world, count me in. Seeing that everyone accepted the task, Bruce Wayne wanted to see everyone's abilities and collect their intelligence, so he also accepted the task. Please be prepared, the countdown will be transmitted 10, 9, 8. As the countdown ended, everyone present was teleported to Raccoon City in the Resident Evil world. The location was on a street in Raccoon City not far from the police station. As soon as they arrived here, before they had time to observe their surroundings, they found that they were surrounded by zombies. The area around here is full of zombies. Kara Danvers was gearing up. She wanted to express herself well, so she said, look at me. Everyone saw Kara Danvers' body disappearing from the place, and at a super speed that was invisible to the naked eye, it disappeared in an instant. Knock away all the zombies around you. Bruce Wayne's pupils shrank when he saw this scene, and he decisively made another note in the little black book in his mind. Diana was surprised. Kara, you are very strong. Let's compare it when we have time. Bruce Wayne's pupils shrank again. He didn't expect that after Diana saw Kara's strength, she would dare to propose a fight with her. Let's discuss, what does this mean? This shows that Diana's strength is at least close to Kara. Bruce silently recorded this information in the little black book in his heart, and planned to study measures to counter them when he returned. Otherwise, if they lost control, the consequences would be disastrous. It should be said that he is worthy of being Mr. Bruce Wayne. There is no one else who is this suspicious. Bruce Wayne glanced at Wanda without any trace and found that the other party was very calm. This shows that Wanda does not think Kara's ability is anything, and Wanda's strength may also be very powerful. Our mission is to rescue Shirley Birkin, but we don't know who she is or where she is, so we need to go to the police station and look at the census files first. Bruce Wayne suppressed the ups and downs in his heart for the time being and focused on the current mission. After all, no one knows whether Shirley Birkin is in danger at this time. If it takes too long and the mission target dies, God knows. Will they be ruthlessly abandoned by the Q&A space and never be able to return to this world? Wanda walked to the bus stop aside, looked at the route map above and said, the Raccoon City Police Department is only two streets away from here, only ten minutes away. A group of four people started to set off. It seems that there is no one alive in this city, or those who are still alive have been hidden. Ordinary people who dare to wander on the street at this time have not fallen into the belly of a zombie that is, becoming a member of the zombies. Kara seems to have unlimited physical strength. She uses superhuman speed and strength to kill the zombies on the road. But after all, Kara is only a 14-year-old girl who has killed so many zombies, she began to feel a little nauseous. There is not much difference between zombies and humans. Constantly killing zombies will give Kara the illusion that she is killing people. Seeing that Kara was feeling unwell, Wanda said, Kara, please take a rest. Leave the rest of the zombies to me. Wanda didn't use magic. She used the purple light ring to reveal two pistols, rushed into the zombies and started gunfighting. 
She easily eliminated a large group of zombies. You ask where she learned the gunfighting skills. Imitate movies it's in the game. For example, the gunfighting technique used by the protagonist in the movie, Tearing Apocalypse, and the gunfighting technique used by Dante in Devil May Cry. The gunfighting technique emphasizes the gorgeousness and gorgeousness. Not lacking in power. Bruce Wayne silently made another note in the little black book. You're a good shot. Diana praised. Not long after, everyone finally arrived at the Raccoon City Police Station. They met a black police officer with an abdominal injury in the lobby of the police station. Wanda stepped forward, checked the other person's body, and said, he has contracted the virus and may not be able to survive for long. Mr. Black police officer was not surprised by his situation. He smiled bitterly and said, sorry, the police station has been destroyed. If you come here to seek help, you may be disappointed. We'd like to go through the census files and find a person. Bruce Wayne said. The black police officer pointed to a computer not far away. You can use that computer to check. The password is XXXXX. Thanks. Bruce Wayne thanked him, and then went to the computer to inquire about Shirley Birkin's information. Diana asked the black police officer what happened in the city. The black police officer told a few people get up. It turns out that the culprit for the biochemical crisis in this city was Umbrella. In fact, a few weeks before the biochemical crisis broke out, STARS evidence was found that Umbrella was illegally researching biological weapons in the Spencer mansion in the suburbs. However, Umbrella was very knowledgeable, and even the police chief, Brian Irons, was 3.5 by him. They bribed them, they controlled public opinion, and brought S. T. A. R. S. Members framed the case, allowing S. T. A. R. S. Caught in a crisis of trust among citizens, no one believes what they say. In order to expose the Umbrella Corporation, Chris Redfield, Barry Burton and others went to Europe to investigate the Umbrella headquarters. And S, who is still in Raccoon City. T.A.R.S. The only members left were Jill and Brad. Shortly after that, a biological crisis broke out in Raccoon City. After listening to the black police officer's story, everyone understood the source of the city's disaster. They also learned that the brother Claire Redfield was looking for in the video was not missing, but had gone to Europe to investigate the Umbrella headquarters. Umbrella is so abominable, how could they research such a terrible virus? Kara Danvers was indignant. Diana Prince's face didn't look very good either. As a superhero on the side of justice, Diana hated those evil organizations that didn't take human life seriously. At this moment, pursued by a large number of zombies, Claire broke into the police station lobby and locked the door. She sat down on the ground panting. She looked into the lobby and found that there were living people here. She was surprised and said, You have haven't seen my brother Chris, he's supposed to be working here. The black police officer replied, You are Chris's sister Claire. He mentioned you to me. My name is Claire Redfield. Where is my brother? Claire stood up excitedly, ran over and asked. He went on vacation to Europe. The black policeman didn't tell the truth, otherwise Claire would be worried about Chris. You didn't even say a word to me when you went on vacation, really. Claire actually believed it, and then she became concerned about the black police officer's injuries. I found the information about Shirley Birkin. She is only 12 years old and is the daughter of William Birkin, the director of the Umbrella Company's Arclay Research Institute. The research institute is not far from the police station, on the 24th floor. The entrance is unknown. If we want to go there, we need to break through the wall of the sewer from the orphanage not far away. Bruce Wayne said at this time. Is the target we want to save actually the daughter of an Umbrella Company executive? Diana Prince frowned. The child is innocent. Bruce Wayne said solemnly. In which direction is the Arclay Institute located? Kara. Danvers asked. Bruce Wayne raised his hand and pointed. Kara immediately looked over there and activated her supervision. Her eyes penetrated the layers of obstacles and saw the Arclay Research Institute underground. She after observing for a few seconds, he shook his head. The Arclay Research Institute is full of zombies. Only a woman in a white coat is still alive. The name tag on her chest says Yanni Birkin. She may be Shui Lily's mother. There is also a big monster in that research institute, which looks very powerful.
can you still see clairvoyance and farsightedness? Diana was very surprised. Not only did the other party have super strength and super speed, but she also had super vision. This girl has quite a few super powers. I'm awesome. Kara said proudly. Claire and the black police officer were stunned. They couldn't believe that the legendary superpower actually existed. Danvers, look around here. Shirley is only a 12-year-old girl. She must not be able to go far. Bruce Wayne said, and as he spoke, he wrote down the information about Kara's supervision on the little black card. Kara nodded and started to look around. Do you really have superpowers? Claire walked to Kara and asked extremely curiously. Well, I'm super awesome. Where did your superpowers come from? I'm born with it. How is this possible? You must be an alien. Kara's body stiffened, and she quickly argued, your joke is not funny at all. That's right, aliens can't look so similar to humans. Claire also felt that she was overthinking. But Bruce Wayne saw Kara stiffen when Claire mentioned that Kara might be an alien. And he had a suspicion in his mind. Maybe Kara really is an alien. So Bruce Wayne became even more wary of Kara. After all, if she is not from my species, her heart must be different. Not long after, Kara said, we found the target. She is a little blonde girl, about 12 years old. She is hiding in its in the sewer directly below the police station. You can enter from here. Kara walked to the statue in front of the police station lobby and pointed to that place. There is a mechanism here. Open it and the entrance will appear. Let me do it. I have a lot of experience in things like institutions. Wanda walked over, and after a lot of fuss, an elevator appeared that led directly to the bottom. Kara walked into the elevator on her own, turned around and said to everyone. You guys wait here, I will go down to rescue people. Is it okay for you to be alone? Asked Diana. You've seen what I'm capable of. Kara pressed the elevator button, and the elevator began to go down. About 10 minutes later, Kara came back with a little blonde girl. This little girl was exactly the target of everyone's mission, Shirley Birkin. As long as she if they take this little girl out of Raccoon City, their mission will be completed. However, this little girl wants to find her mother and is unwilling to leave. Kara wants to tell her that your mother is an evil scientist, but she still can't bear it. Say it. Should we help her find her mother? Kara asked everyone. Diana walked up behind Shirley Birkin and knocked the child unconscious with a knife. She said, her mother was still wearing a white coat in that institute, and her father was in that institute, supervisor. The biohazard that happened in Raccoon City is inseparable from their family. There is no need for us to save people like that. Bruce. Wayne had a different opinion. Yanni Birkin is indeed not worth saving, but it is not our turn to decide her life or death. We should hand her over to the law. Diana said unhappily, I don't want to save someone like that. I go. Bruce Wayne said solemnly, I'll go with you. Kara Danvers said. In 053, the two of them went to the Arclay Research Institute to save Shirley's mother. Ill. Diana rolled her eyes. Claire on the side finally understood that these people are just people, so she became bolder and chatted with Wanda and Diana. Diana admired Claire's bravery, so she chatted with her. But at this time, the black police officer finally became terminally ill, completely lost his mind and turned into a zombie. It's a shame, he's pretty nice. Diana said regretfully, and summoned the Vulcan sword, preparing to give the other party a good blow. Wow, you actually have superpowers too. Claire's eyes were bright when she saw Diana conjuring a sword out of thin air. Diana nodded, walked to the black police zombie, and pierced the opponent's spine with a sword, making him completely peaceful. You'd better get your sword disinfected or you'll bring back the biohazard. Wanda reminded Diana. I know. Diana's Vulcan sword was ignited with blazing flames, and the temperature was extremely high. Under the flames of this temperature, no matter what kind of virus it was, it could be completely destroyed. Amazing. Claire said with envy. As a college student who is not familiar with the world, Claire is very envious of these capable people who can move up and down. At this time, the actor Leon Kennedy also broke into the police station lobby. When Claire saw Leon coming, she happily stepped forward to care about him. Wanda and Diana chatted. I just remembered something. You said you were from Paradise Island. I happen to know an Amazon from Paradise Island. Who is that? 
Diana asked curiously. It's Hippolyta. The first time I saw her was a long, long time ago. At that time, she formed an alliance with Amazon warriors, gods, Atlanteans and human kingdoms to fight against the invaders who invaded the earth. I at that time, people were watching from a short distance away. Wanda said. Diana was surprised. You actually knew my mother and witnessed the war with your own eyes. Wanda nodded. Diana thought of something and asked curiously, then you must have witnessed the last scene of that war. My mother told me that a powerful goddess appeared at that time, and with a wave of her hand, the demon-like army of Apocalypse was wiped out, and even the new god Darkseid was scared away. Yes, I witnessed that. It is said that the goddess who took action at that time lived in the Phoenix Temple on Mount Olympus. She was a goddess many times more powerful than Zeus. She was also the most beautiful and powerful goddess I have ever seen. Wanda boasted about herself as Ninian. Yes, I also heard from my mother that the goddess lived in the Phoenix Temple. She also told me that the other party was friends with Athena and Métis. As soon as the two of them chatted here, Claire came over with Leon. Leon greeted the two ladies very gentlemanly. Wanda nodded to Li Sangguang. Diana looked at Leon and Li Sangguang up and down and commented, In this day and age, it is rare to see someone with the spirit of chivalry. Man, you are very good. Leon. Leon couldn't understand how the other party could see that he had the spirit of chivalry. He didn't even know it himself. Claire thought of the scene where she was saved by Leon at the gas station, and she agreed very much with Diana's words. She covered her mouth and said with a smile, he is indeed a guy with chivalrous spirit. At this time, Bruce Wayne and Kara Dane Firth is back. Kara was carrying an unconscious blonde woman in a white coat on her back. The other person was Shirley's mother, Yanni Birkin. Everyone has been saved, it's time for us to leave. Bruce Wayne said in a deep voice. Wanda and Diana stood up. Wanda said to Claire and Leon, you guys should go together, Raccoon City is no longer safe. Of course Claire and Leon had no objection, and they didn't want to stay in a place full of zombies. Everyone left the Raccoon City police station and walked all the way out of the city. All the zombies they encountered on the road were dealt with by Wanda and Diana. Leon and Claire were dumbfounded by this. As they marched along, they left the city soon. Bruce, Diana, Kara, and Wanda heard a message that the mission was completed. The next second, the four of them left Claire, Leon and others disappeared out of sight, leaving the two of them alone looking at each other, in the Q&A space. The four returning people heard the system prompts in the question and answer space. The system prompted them to complete the task and each received a reward. Diana Prince obtained the Diablo Druid template, which allowed her to transform into an animal, or cast some natural spells. Bruce Wayne gained Chakra Physique and Basic Ninjutsu. Kara Danvers gained immunity to Kryptonite's weakness. Wanda, who dressed as Ninian, also received a reward, which was a pair of Eterna. El Mangekio Sharingan. However, instead of directly transforming Wanda's eyes, she was rewarded with two eyeballs. These two eyeballs were the solution is contained in a transparent test tube. The eternal Mangekio Sharingan was of no use to Wanda. Its only purpose was to give it away to others, so it was put away by her. End of this Q&A. Everyone was teleported back to their original places. Wanda also returned to the apartment in her new home in the DC universe. Time has not passed here. Chin at home is still cooking dinner in the kitchen. Wanda said with emotion, having obtained all the permissions of the Q&A space, it has become more fun. In the future, I can conduct more similar activities and experience the scenery of different worlds. A month later, Wanda and Chin's vacation life ended. Counting the time, the mutant school in the Marvel 838 Illuminati universe is about to start, and Wanda returns with Chin. Another period of time passed, and the story of Black Panther happened. However, because Black Panther's father is not dead, the story is slightly different. Wanda was not interested in the Black Panther story, so she did not participate. Counting the time, it has been a long time since she last held a Q&A live broadcast at Marvel, and it is time to do it again. So under her control, the question and answer space was reopened. Wanda, Stark, and Natasha were pulled into the question and answer space. No Bruce Wayne or Diana Prince this time. In the recent Q&A live broadcasts, the personnel are always changing. 
I am really worried that we will also be inexplicably disqualified from the Q&A. Natasha said. There are no newcomers, just the three of us. Tony Stark also felt that the recent live broadcasts had a lot of personnel changes. Has the Q&A space been revised? Welcome to the Q&A space. The system of this space has been upgraded and has new functions. You can invite a new viewer to join here, and the Q&A live broadcast will start after the new member appears. Can people from other worlds also be invited? Wanda pretended to be a novice and asked the system. She was using this question to remind Stark and Natasha that they could play like this. Yes, as long as you can name them and the characters in question actually exist. After receiving a positive reply from the system, Stark's eyes lit up and he said, Do you still remember the Frostmourne child that Loki once obtained? Natasha was puzzled. What do you want to say? Stark Kejiu said, Loki obtained the equipment in the game, does that mean that the game world really exists? If the game world really exists, then what about the movie world? This is too ridiculous. Are the people who write movie and game scripts all creation gods? Natasha thinks Stark's theory is a bit ridiculous. I have a speculation that there are countless single universes and parallel worlds in the multiverse, and there are infinite multiverses outside the multiverse. In other words, there are infinite worlds. Under this general premise, anything that may happen will happen somewhere, so it is possible that the stories in the movie will happen in reality. I even think that in some worlds, our world may be presented in the form of literary, film and television works. This is just a matter of probability, said Stark. Stark, your theory is amazing. Wanda was stunned. She didn't expect that Stark would actually conclude this theory. Regardless of whether this theory is correct or not, just because he can think of this theory, Stark is worthy of being Stark. Testing this theory is as simple as saying the name of a movie character and seeing if the question and answer space can bring that person there. Stark said excitedly. If this theory can be verified, this will be a great discovery. We only have one spot, who are you going to invite? Natasha asked. Stark began to think. Wanda suggested. I wonder if you have seen Underworld. It is an old vampire-themed movie. To be honest, I have never seen a vampire. I have always been worried about it, curious. Stark and Natasha nodded, indicating that they had indeed watched it when they were bored. Just invite Celine, the vampire heroine in the movie. Wanda said. I do not mind. Natasha said. I remember Celine was a beauty, and I had no problem with that. Tony Stark also said he had no objection. I think you are a playboy. Wanda rolled her eyes. The three choices were completed. The next second, a pretty vampire beauty with black shoulder-length wavy hair, black clothes and black leather pants appeared in the question and answer space. As soon as she appeared, he put on a defensive stance, looked at the three of them warily and asked, where is this place, and who are you? 800 Natasha didn't expect that the question and answer space could actually summon the characters in the movie, which meant that Stark's theory was probably correct. Tony Stark took a step forward and faced Celine, his particularly gentlemanly self-introduction. Beautiful lady, I'm Tony Stark. Looking at Stark's extended hand, Celine hesitated for a moment. Out of politeness, she reached out and shook hands with him, and also introduced herself, Celine. Next, Stark introduced the Q&A space to the beautiful vampire. Celine felt incredible. You didn't lie to me. You'll find out soon. The Q&A live broadcast is about to begin. Appeared on the big screen. However, the screen did not directly play the picture, but first displayed a piece of text. In the Marvel Multiverse, there is a single universe numbered 616. The Marvel Multiverse refers to the multiverse we live in. Natasha asked Wanda. As far as I know, our universe is part of the Marvel Multiverse, and our universe number is 199,999. Wanda said, I thought our universe was numbered 1, not 199,999. Who numbered the universe? Stark has a problem with this number. Possibly the Living Tribunal, which is said to be a symbol of order in the multiverse. Of course, they may also be observers, who have been observing everything silently. Wanda said, As long as you are around, I can always learn a lot of weird knowledge. Stark complained. The text on the big screen disappeared. The picture began to play. Wanda appeared on it. That Wanda was lying on the bed, 
sweating profusely and screaming, and someone was encouraging her, push hard, it's going to be born soon. Ah, why is it my story again, or the scene of me giving birth to a child? Wanda was speechless. She did not control what was played in the Q&A space this time. This was the content randomly selected by the Q&A space. This proves that you are favored by the Q&A space. Natasha teased. The scene continues. Twins, Wanda, you gave birth to a pair of healthy, lively, and beautiful twins. Vision said excitedly from the side. Twins, husband, these are our children. In the room, Vision and Wanda were holding a child each, looking very happy. But at this moment, the bald Professor X entered the room in a wheelchair. Wanda, we need to talk and get this back together quickly. Professor X said. No no. Look, look, my beautiful children. You can't have children, never have. Professor. They are my children. Wanda said with tears. Wanda, restore the world to its original state. Immediately. Professor X scolded. But my child. They never existed. Wanda's chaos magic was lifted, and the scene in this room changed. It was no longer as warm as before, the vision did not exist, and the child did not exist. Instead, there was only a man with messy hair and dark circles under his eyes, who looked particularly haggard. Wanda. Wanda seemed to recall what happened before, and she collapsed emotionally. Oh God, I, I killed them, I killed those Avengers. I killed my husband, God. Professor Charles stepped forward and hugged the mentally broken Wanda. A memory screen appeared. It was the worst day since the birth of the Avengers. After the ability to modify reality went out of control, the Scarlet Witch completely collapsed. And in this horrific chaos, Hawkeye, Ant-Man, and Vision lost their lives. The rest of the Avengers were injured, both physically and mentally. The culprit of all this was Scarlet Witch. Seeing this, Stark and Natasha were stunned. Wanda's peer in the 616 universe actually went crazy and killed Hawkeye, Ant-Man and Vision. This and the 616 universe seem to be very different. Unusually, there are not only Avengers there, but also mutants. It's hard to imagine how chaotic the Earth in that universe must be. Celine also looked at everything in the picture in surprise. How powerful the people in the picture were. Pulling out a random one they are not weaker than vampires. The out-of-control Scarlet Witch can even modify reality. Celine feels that her three views have been subverted. That is, you. Celine looked at Wanda and asked incredulously. They are my counterparts in other universes. Wanda said with a dull face. This video is another dark history of the Scarlet Witch. If Wanda remembers correctly, this video is about the M. Royal family event. In this event, the Scarlet Witch turned on the full power and killed all human beings. Humans became mutants, and at the end of this incident, she turned on all the mutants and turned them back into humans, almost making mutants extinct. The scene continues. Charles left Wanda's room and came to the rooftop. Wanda's father Magneto was standing here, looking at the mutants in front of him that had been reduced to ruins. Genosha. I heard her cry, I'm sorry, Charles, said Magneto. Eric, every time your daughter uses her powers to modify reality, she loses more of what she holds dear in reality, and it doesn't get better at all. Is she asleep? Yes, I made her fall asleep but we can no longer use drugs or mind control to make her sleep like this. This is too cruel, does not solve the problem at all, and is only a temporary expedient. Stop blaming yourself Eric, she has grown up and is not a little girl anymore. Don't read my mind without my permission, Charles. I don't, Charles said. Magneto said, I can't help you, Charles. I put my children through hell because of something I believed in. I destroyed their hope that they could have a good life. But because of my faith, because of my war against mankind, all this happened. And the real situation is that I have shaken my belief in resisting human war, and I have failed. So now I lost the war in my baby. I had to sacrifice them for my faith, and I did, you know. But I didn't expect that it would end like this. All the sacrifices have become worthless, and many people may think this is my retribution. After Magneto finished speaking, he flew away. Watching his old friend leave, Charles sighed, maybe, but she shouldn't have to bear this. Question. What happens next? A. The Avengers and the X-Men teamed up to kill Wanda. B. 
Pietro guessed that they wanted to kill Wanda, so he captured Professor. C. Wanda fell into madness and destroyed the world. D. She was taken away by Pietro and disappeared to a place where no one could find her for a long time. Natasha, Stark, and Celine all looked at Wanda. Wanda rolled her eyes. Don't look at me, that Wanda is not me. I have never lost control, and I have never lost anything due to chaos magic. Of course I know you haven't lost anything, I'm just lamenting that you in another world are so hateful, even though you are so cute. Stark shrugged. I'm not happy at all to be praised like this by you. Wanda was speechless. Judging from the information revealed in the previous scenes, the peer Wanda was also a member of the Avengers, but it was just that his abilities were too easy to lose control and he was emotionally disturbed, which led to such tragedy. Faced with this kind of uncontrolled instability, no matter what the purpose of the Avengers and X-Men, some people will definitely suggest killing Wanda to solve the problem once and for all. Natasha rationally analyzed. Then they may be disappointed. I know how strong my chaos magic is. Even if the peer in the video is not as powerful as me, her upper limit of chaos magic still exceeds the Heavenly Father level. When facing a fatal threat, even if she doesn't want to resist, and the chaos magic in her body will drive her to resist. Which will only lead to greater tragedy in the end. A must be the wrong answer. Wanda shook her head. She was not optimistic about the plans of the Avengers and X-Men against her peers. What about D? Is it possible that the other you was taken away by Pietro and disappeared for a while? Asked Natasha. An out of control me will be a humanoid natural disaster wherever I go. Unless Pietro can take that me out of the earth, there is no way to hide it. So the answer can only be chosen between you destroying the world and you rewriting the world. Stark rubbed his temples. He was very glad that Wanda on his side had obtained the mental halo early and eliminated the risk of losing control. Otherwise, the problems that those in the video had to face would also become what they had to face. The problem faced. Celine, who had remained silent, now spoke up. She asked several people, why does chaos magic make people lose control? Because the source of that power is not Wanda, but an evil demon. Under normal circumstances, the more Wanda uses this power, the easier it will be for her to lose control of her emotions, which will only lead to tragedy in the end. Natasha said. Celine thought for a while and said. I think the answer should be B. Wanda in the video should still have some sense and will not do anything to destroy the world. Celine answered correctly. Congratulations on getting the reward. A mortal blood of blood bag appeared in her hand, filled with bright red blood. Seeing this reward, Stark's eyes lit up. Ms. Celine, can you give me some of the eternal blood? Stark, who has watched Underworld, certainly knows what the eternal blood is. This is a kind of blood that can make people live forever. As long as people drink it, they will live forever. For vampires, this kind of blood can eliminate the vampires' weaknesses and make them no longer afraid of the sun. Stark has recently been practicing the Force and switching to a Jedi Knight. Jedi Knights generally have a long lifespan and are unlikely to die of old age. But Stark also has a fiancé, Pepper, and he wants Pepper to stay young forever. Celine looked at the blood bag in her hand. There was a lot of blood in it. She hesitated for a moment, then nodded and agreed to Stark. Wanda, quickly turn me into a container for blood. Stark said. Wanda waved her hand and conjured a glass vessel. Stark took this glass vessel and got part of the eternal blood from Celine's blood bag. Thanks. He thanked Celine. Celine nodded, and then drank all the remaining eternal blood. Stark was grateful for Celine's gift, and told her a piece of information, your family he didn't die at the hands of a werewolf, but was killed by your respected Victor. You survived because you looked similar to Victor's dead daughter, and he placed his love for her on you. What did you say? Celine's eyes suddenly became brighter. You know I don't have to lie to you about this. Stark shrugged. Why do you know about me? This is hard to explain. If you don't believe me, you can ask Craven in the manor when you go back. He knows the truth. At the Avengers headquarters, the Avengers, X-Men, Doctor Strange and others gathered here to discuss how to deal with Wanda's problem. Some people suggested killing Wanda, such as Emma the White Queen and Wolverine. But there are also those who oppose it, such as Doctor Strange and Captain America. Just as everyone was arguing over this matter, 
the Scarlet Witch's chaos magic suddenly activated somewhere in the world, and a dazzling white light instantly enveloped the world. Earth's reality is modified. When the light disappeared, almost all humans in the world acquired the X gene and became mutants. Everyone's memories have also been modified. People have forgotten everything before the world changed, and only think that they have been living in this changed world. The changes in this new reality are huge. The culture of mutants has become the mainstream of the world and dominates the world. They are the leaders of religion and politics. Such a mutant world is under the leadership of Magneto and his family. Spider-Man became a wrestling superstar, a famous actor, and a scientist. He was no longer married to Mary Jane Watson, but to the late Gwen Stacy. They had a son named Rizzy. Hell's Kitchen in New York is a well-known mysterious club and a gathering place for the worst ordinary people in society. The people here seriously endanger the security of the mutant world, so they are denounced as a black society. Luke Cage is the leader of the black society, whose members include Iron Fist Danny Rand, Moon Knight Mark Spector, White Tiger Angela Deli Toro, Black Cat Felicia, Hardy, Hawkeye, Clint Barton. S.H.I.E.L.D. is no longer the human S.H.I.E.L.D., but the mutant S.H.I.E.L.D. Wolverine, Mystique and others have all become S.H.I.E.L.D. agents, maintaining world peace for Magneto and his family. Looking at the scenes on the screen, Stark and Natasha were both stunned. What a divine unfolding this is. At this time, the voice of the question and answer space sounded. Mission. Enter Marvel 616 and change the world back to its original appearance. Tip. This task is not mandatory. You can choose to accept it or not. Completing the task is equivalent to answering the question correctly, and you will receive a reward. It's actually a task, not a question and answer. Natasha was surprised. The question and answer system actually wants us to save that world. Stark shrugged. If it was a forced mission, Stark would definitely be the first to be upset. He doesn't like others forcing him to do anything. He will only act according to his own wishes. But if he is given a choice, he doesn't. To overcome the psychology of resistance. The question and answer space is a special space that can draw people in from the multiverse. Since it can draw people in from different worlds, of course it can also send people to other worlds. Stark's revised version of the question and answer space function, only surprised, not surprised. That world is almost entirely populated by people with superpowers, and the rewards for this mission are not easy to get. Celine said. Wanda, can you undo the chaos magic of the other you? Natasha asked Wanda, if possible, this task would be easy. It's best to get rid of the source of the problem, otherwise even if I can restore the world, something similar may happen again. Wanda said. Let's discuss this mission first and then decide whether to accept it or not. Stark said, if we don't modify the T-world back, we will definitely be unable to move there, so we need allies. I can make a few magic props to restore memory. When we get there, we will take it and go separately to find the Avengers of that world, and the Black Society in Hell's Kitchen can also fight for it. After all, it is a matter for their world. They must also play a part. Wanda said as she manipulated chaos magic to create three magic props, handed them to Stark, Natasha, and Selene respectively, and explained, just press the button at the target, and the flash above will flash it. People who can see the eyes can restore their memories before the world changed. That being the case, then accept the mission. Tony Stark nodded. Need to jog those X-Men memories. Selene asked. That world has become a mutant world, and the X-Men are all mutants, and they don't necessarily want to restore the world. If they are awakened, unexpected changes may occur. Natasha shook her head. Then the plan is as follows. When we get there, we will be divided into two groups, Celine and I, and Wanda, you and Natasha. We will wake up the Avengers in that world respectively, and finally gather together to solve the problem. Stark said. Several people accepted the task one after another. They were transported by the question and answer space to Earth New York in the Marvel 616 main universe. After arriving here, the four people divided into two teams and went to find those ones one by one. The Avengers, and the people of Hell's Kitchen, awakened their memories. In less than a day, the Avengers and the people of Hell's Kitchen gathered together with their memories restored. Stark, the Scarlet Witch of your world seems truly harmless. Doctor Strange from the 616 universe said to Stark, but it sounded a bit like ridicule. 
Tony Stark shrugged. And Stark from the 616 universe looked at himself in the movie universe and complained. That's it. It's like looking into a tasteless mirror. Movie universe Stark retorted. That's what I want to say too. Except for the two Starks bickering there, most of the others were looking at Wanda. Although this Wanda looks different from the Wanda in their universe, as Wanda's peer, she should also be out of control. Maybe. One Wanda is enough to make them choke. Who can bear it if there is another Wanda? Seeing that everyone looked at Wanda with some evil eyes, Natasha stood in front of Wanda and explained. Our Wanda is normal and there is no risk of losing control. How can you be sure of this? Luke Cage's eyes were full of doubts. Natasha, get out of the way and let me tell them. Wanda took a step forward. She looked at the people who looked at her with distrustful eyes and said calmly, we are here to help. The thing that awakens your memory was created by me. If you refuse my help, I will your awakened memories will be restored, and then we will leave, after all you have refused our help. As soon as Wanda's words came out, the faces of the superheroes in the 616 universe became ugly. They absolutely believed that Wanda had the ability to change their memories back to before, and that was the worst case scenario. Doctor Strange from the 616 universe said, Okay, they are here to help us, we shouldn't doubt them. The most important issue now is to find Wanda in our world and let her end the chaos magic. Just kill her when you find her. She has no value in saving, but is a scourge. Clint Barton, the Hawkeye of Universe 616, said. Wanda said unhappily, although I know the person you want to kill is not me, but you are so cruel. Does it make you feel uncomfortable to kill your peers? Hawkeye Clint Barton of Universe 616 glared at Wanda. No, I just want to tell you that you are already a dead person in the normal world line. If the world returns to normal, you will also disappear. Wanda retorted back. Clint Barton, the Hawkeye of the 616 universe, was dumbfounded. He didn't know that he was dead in the normal world. He looked at his companions for help. As a result, finding that their eyes were a little evasive and they did not dare to look at him, he immediately knew that Wanda was not lying. Clint Barton, the Hawkeye of Universe 616, suddenly became depressed. Mr. Extraordinary Simon Williams comforted Hawkeye. But Hawkeye continued to be depressed, he didn't want to talk, he just wanted to be quiet. Since we also have the Scarlet Witch here, why not just return to reality? Black Cat Felicia Hardy said. Everyone's attention was once again focused on Wanda. Wanda said, of course I can restore reality, but as soon as reality is restored, me, Stark and not a Sarah, the three of us outsiders will disappear, because we came here through the loophole of reality change. When we disappear, if another me rewrites reality again, then I will not exist, who will wake me up? You. At this moment, the door to the conference room was opened, and Wolverine walked in. Even without you, I can wake them up. Logan, did you regain your memory yourself? Captain Marvel was surprised. My memory is already messed up, and no one can make it messier, said Rogan. So, you want me to restore the world directly? Wanda crossed her arms across her chest and asked with narrowed eyes. That's right, our world is protected by ourselves and we don't need help from outsiders like you, especially you, witch. Logan looked at Wanda with an unkind look. Well, I hope you don't regret it. Wanda was too lazy to say anything and directly cast chaos magic. A dazzling light enveloped the whole world. Everything began to recover. When the light disappeared, the world was restored. Wanda, Stark, Natasha, Celine, etc. The people completed the Q&A space mission and disappeared from this world. Shortly after their disappearance, Wanda from the 616 universe, under the guidance of Pietro borrowing Charles's ability, once again modified reality, and the world became dominated by mutants. The situation. This time Wolverine did not regain his memory so quickly. When Wolverine regained his memory a few days later, he suddenly felt a little annoyed when he thought about what happened before. But now that it was over, he had to cheer up and wake up those heroes. Memories. But when he looked for them, he found that he had no means to awaken their memories. Wolverine regretted it more and more, Q&A space. The four people who returned received rewards one after another for completing their tasks. Let's not talk about Wanda's reward, it's meaningless anyway. The reward Natasha Romanoff received was still related to the X-Gene. 
she already had the Wolverine self-healing factor and the Phantom Cat's ability to travel through time. This time she obtained Darwin's survival of the fittest. Celine gained super speed. The most special reward Tony Stark received was a one-time pass to the Trisilaran universe. This pass allows Tony Stark to go to the Earth in the three-body plane until he wants to return. This pass can carry two people through the past with him, but the pass can only be used in the question and answer space. Is it not very responsible for us to return like this? What if there is another problem on their side? Natasha was a little worried about the people in that world. It's not our fault that they refused our help. When this matter was mentioned, Wanda was very unhappy. Unhappy, she used the peers in that world as means to infiltrate power there. She wanted to see what would happen to those who rejected her. The ending. When she saw the result, she was immediately happy. Should she say that she really deserved it? Especially when Wanda saw Wolverine regretting alone there with a face full of doubts about life, Wanda felt relaxed all over, and her thoughts suddenly became clear. Never mind that world, it's not our world anyway. Tony Stark didn't care about this, as long as he got the reward anyway, he waved the one-time pass to the Trisilaran universe in his hand to a few people, and said, I have a time travel card here, which allows the most people, including me, to three people traveled to the three-body plane. What is that place? Natasha has never heard of the three-body plane. It is the plane where Sophons and water droplet technology were born. There is also the Earth in that plane, and it is facing the threat of alien invasion. Over there, the aliens who are about to invade the Earth are called the Trisilaran civilization by humans. The Trisilaran civilization uses Sophon technology to block basic human science, making it difficult for human science to make breakthroughs and progress. I think we should go to that world take a look, maybe you can get more technology from there. Stark said. Regarding the three-body plane, Stark only knows the above information, and he doesn't know any more information. If there are only three places, I won't go. Celine exited. Then she was teleported away by the Q&A space. How about it, Wanda, Natasha, do you want to go to the Trisilaran universe with me? How long will it take? Wanda asked. Stay until we don't want to stay. There is an introduction on this time travel card, saying that no matter how long we stay in another world, we will still be back to the day we left when we return here, so we don't have to worry about being 2187 over there. This delayed things here for a long time. It seems that Stark really wants to go to the three-body plane. Wanda shrugged and said, then go. Natasha also nodded. I just thought I was going there for vacation. Okay, let's go. A group of three people were transported to the Earth in the Trisilaran universe. The place where they arrived was a park in the capital of the Big Foodie Empire. The first time they arrived here, Wanda took out a music box and turned it around. Tiao asked the music box to play music. When the music plays, all the technological equipment in the surrounding area will malfunction, and this will become a Sophon blind spot. Stark glanced at Wanda with praise, and then said to the two of them, Remember one thing, the Earth here is monitored by Sophons from alien civilizations. If you are not in the Sophon blind zone, it is best not to discuss two sensitive topics, so as not to be monitored by the Trisilaran civilization and cause trouble. Now let's find a place to live, and then slowly learn more about the world. We need a legal identity, Wanda, I'll leave it to you. Natasha said to Wanda. Wanda's eyes flashed red. She waved her hand and conjured up the identity documents of the citizens of the Three Point Eagle Country and the Visa Cards of the Big Foodie Empire, and distributed them to the two of them. No matter how many times I see your ability, I still find it incredible. Tony Stark looked at the certificate in his hand and sighed. The current time point is some time before the story of Three Body Problem One begins. The three of them checked into the presidential suite of a local five star hotel. Through Tomoko, Stark began to investigate the world's intelligence. Wanda went out alone and went to a research institute where a high-energy particle accelerator was located. The high-energy particle accelerator here has just been built and is preparing to conduct the first particle collision experiment. Wanda, disguised as a scientific researcher in a white coat, sneaked in smoothly and stood next to a female doctor. Together with her, she looked at the accelerator in front of her and said, this may not be the key to the future. But a door leading to hell. 
The female doctor gave Wanda a strange look and asked, why do you say that? Something happened that would have absolutely catastrophic consequences for basic science. Wanda said. The female doctor shook her head. She thought the other party's idea was strange. At this time, the particle accelerator was started. The experiment began. But after several high-energy particle collision experiments, the experimental results were completely different. This what does it mean? This made the scientists present panic. The female doctor looked at the experimental results and thought of what the person said before, so she began to look for him in the institute. Not long after, she found a computer Wanda, who was calculating the data in front of her, asked her, do you know something? Wanda, who pretended to be a scientist calculating data here, stopped what she was doing, turned around and said to the female doctor, life in the world may be ugly, but at the end of the micro and macro, it is harmonious and perfect, the daily world just foam floating on this perfect ocean. It should have been like this, but now it seems that the daily world has become a beautiful appearance, and the micro it contains and the macro it contains may be more chaotic and ugly. The female doctor's pupils shrank. What do you want to say? I didn't say anything. I don't know your name yet. Wanda. I don't remember anyone like you in the institute. That's because I don't exist at all and only you can see me. The female doctor didn't believe it. She called another researcher from a short distance away, pointed at Wanda and asked him, can you see her? The scientific researcher looked puzzled. There is nothing there. The female doctor was stunned. Seeing the female doctor like this, the scientific researchers thought that the female doctor was insane because of the results of the particle accelerator experiment, so they shook their heads and left. As I said, only you can see me. What do you? No, now it's my turn to ask you a question, what's your name? My name is Yang Dong. The female doctor introduced herself. Oh, it's a very boyish name. Your temperament is nothing like your name. What exactly are you? Why can only I see you? Is this some kind of magic trick? Yang Dong tried to explain this phenomenon scientifically, but she could not think of any theory that could explain this phenomenon. I'm just a quantum ghost. Wanda said nonsense. Only your sight can make me shrink into a person who can be observed by you. It turned out to be a quantum ghost, which reminded me oh. F a byproduct of his ball lightning experiments. When it comes to science. Yang Dong feels that all this is reasonable. She is worried about encountering things that cannot be explained by science. The unknown also means fear. How did you appear? Was it born because of ball lightning? Why did it appear in front of me? At this moment, Yang Dong's thirst for knowledge was stronger than ever. You can think of me as a storyteller. What story are you going to tell me? See you at the bar in the nearby town tonight. After Wanda finished speaking, she disappeared out of thin air. That night, around 8 o'clock, Yang Dong came to the place where he had made an appointment with Quantum Ghost. This is a small town in China, not far from the previous particle accelerator experimental base. Yang Dong ordered a glass of wine, sat in the corner of the bar. As soon as she sat down, the Quantum Ghost, that only she could see appeared again and sat opposite her. Where to start the story? Wanda looked distressed. Let's start from the very beginning. Dr. Yang Dong said. Then let's start with your mother, Teacher Yi. Wanda told Yang Dong the story of Teacher Yi, including that Teacher Yi's father was criticized and killed, and Teacher Yi was sent to Hong'an base because of ideological problems. At that time, Teacher Yi's life was bleak and he was also disappointed with human beings. Wanda told how Teacher Yi discovered that the sun could exponentially amplify wavelengths beyond a certain range, and she used this to send a message to the universe. Eight years later, Teacher Yi received a reply from the aliens. Yang Dong's eyes widened. It only took eight years to receive a reply. Is there an alien civilization four light years away from the Earth? Yes, there are three stars with similar masses there, and the three stars have been undergoing a regular three-body motion. It is conceivable how prosperous the alien civilization living there lived. Teacher Yi was disappointed with humans. After learning about the existence of aliens, he sent another message to the alien civilization, which allowed them to locate us. For the Trisalaran civilization, our Earth is paradise, and they will seize it at all costs. And their fleet has already set off and will arrive in the solar system in 400 years. Wanda made a big revelation. Is everything you said true? 
Dr. Yang Dong asked with difficulty. Otherwise, why do you think the results obtained by particle accelerator collision experiments are different? They want to disrupt the thinking of human scientists, block human technology, and prevent human civilization from experiencing a technological explosion and surpassing them in 400 years. Sorry, I can't imagine what kind of means would be needed to do this. You can take your time and think about it. Today's story ends here, and the rest will be told next time. Friendly reminder, human civilization is under the surveillance of the Trisilaran civilization, and everything you say and do may be discovered by them. When I am around, you can speak freely, but when I leave, you have to be careful about your words and actions. Wanda disappeared, leaving Yang Dong there alone. After a long time, Yang Dong took out her mobile phone. She hesitated for a moment and dialed her mother's number. She wanted to confirm something. She got the answer to the existence of the Trisilaran civilization from her mother. Then she hung up the phone without answering her mother's question about why she knew this. On this day, she was drunk. Returning to the dormitory of the institute, she fell asleep in silence. It wasn't until a month later that Yang Dong left the institute and returned to the capital. During this time, her mind was filled with questions about the Trisilaran civilization, and these questions lingered in her mind and couldn't go away. She was a little tired and was going to give herself a holiday and have a good rest. When she returned home and saw her mother, she had a complicated expression. Teacher Yi asked her, Dong Dong, you must have a lot of questions to ask me. Yang Dong shook his head. I don't want to know anything, I'm tired. She returned to the bedroom. The next day, Yang Dong was going to go for a walk. She saw the quantum ghost again in the community downstairs of her home. Her eyes lit up and she immediately ran to the other party. Wanda spoke first before she could speak. I know you have many questions to ask. Let's go and talk as we go. Where to go? Walk around. On the way, Wanda asked her. What do you want to know? What means do they use to monitor the world, and how do they interfere with particle accelerator collision experiments? It's Tomoko. Proton. Not the quality of the hostage, but the intelligence of the intellect. What is a Sophon? 963. It is the smallest artificial intelligence. It is as small as a real proton. The proton contains the secret of dimension. The Trisilaran people unfolded a proton in two dimensions, carved an integrated circuit on it, and finally folded the proton to increase the dimension. Tomoko. Sophons can move close to the speed of light. So far, the Trisilaran civilization has launched two Sophons to the Earth. This is incredible. Yes, if you know what Sophon can do, you will definitely find it even more incredible. All ears. It can expand in two dimensions and wrap around the Earth, creating the illusion that the cosmic background radiation is flickering. It can travel back and forth through your retina at the speed of light, allowing you to see some messy things. It can interfere with example collision experiments and allow you to come up with different experimental results. It can turn into a concave and convex mirror in the sky, focusing sunlight and igniting the ground. This miraculous technology is enough to disrupt the thinking of you scientists, leading you to the conclusion that physics is unevenly distributed in the universe and making you think that physics does not exist. After hearing this, Yang Dong remained silent for a long time. She was shocked by this technology. Who are you and why do you know this information? Do you want to know the answer? That's right. Then you must become a dead man. Good. Yang Dong agreed to die without thinking. This reminded Wanda of another science fiction story written by Liu, Chao Wendao. In it, scientists queued up to die in order to seek the truth about the universe from aliens. Bridge section. Go home and write a suicide note, then commit suicide. I will tell you everything after you die. That night, Yang Dong committed suicide by taking a large amount of sleeping pills. She was not found dead until the next morning. At this time, Wanda was standing downstairs at Yang Dong's house. Next to her, there was a person besides her floating the soul that no one can see. It turns out that the soul really exists. Yang Dong looked down at her transparent and thin body and looked extremely curious, she didn't seem to realize that she was dead at all. The soul does not exist, at least not in this universe. So who am I, a quantum ghost like you? Not really. Wanda chuckled and said to her, you are just a consciousness field under the protection of my power. 
Once I remove the protection, your consciousness will disappear. Oh. Yang. Dong's reaction was very dull. She asked, can you tell me the answer now? What kind of existence? Are you? Like you, I am an earthling. It's just that I come from a parallel time and space. Wanda started to talk nonsense. My timeline over there is the future. Is that why you know so much? Yes, a lot of things will happen in the future. In the confrontation with the Trisalaran civilization, human beings will make almost all the mistakes they can make. Are you destroyed? Although it's not, it's almost the same. Do you want to see that future? If you can. Wanda took Yang Dong's soul across time and space, took her to see the wallfacer plan that humans came up with soon, and let her see the scene where the other three wallfacers except logic were broken. This time the journey was still going on. Yang Dong saw the water droplet unleashing its power to completely destroy the human fleet, saw logic and history describing the laws of the dark forest, and saw logic establishing the dark forest as a deterrent and opening an era of deterrence. After learning about the laws of the dark forest, Yang Dong's eyes lit up. She realized that humans could start to establish a dark forest deterrent from now on, so that they wouldn't have to worry about the Trisalaran problem. Wanda took him to a more future time point. When logic became obsession more than 60 years after the sword man, humans of that era no longer appreciated logic. Instead, they regarded logic as a dictator, called him a devil, and hoped to elect a gentle sword holder. As a result, a new sword holder took over. The Trisolarans immediately launched an attack, destroying the means used by humans to deter the Trisolaran civilization. Later, the coordinates of the Trisolaran civilization were broadcast, and they were attacked by the Dark Forest. Not long after, the solar system was also attacked. The Dark Forest struck. Yang Dong saw the two-dimensional scene of the solar system and was completely shocked and speechless. In a trance, Yang Dong found that she was back to the original place, which was downstairs of her home. She was still a ghost status, Wanda was standing next to her. What do you think after seeing this? I want to do something for humanity. Yang Dong stared straight at Wanda, trying to get her to help him. You are already dead. If you suddenly fake your body, you will make headlines around the world. You must have another way, right? Yes, I can make you a robot that looks almost like a human and stuff you into it. Then please. With a wave of her hand, Wanda transformed a magically modified version of the simulation robot. This robot is actually Stark's nanosimulation robot. What Wanda magically modified was only to add a soul module to it, allowing Yang Dong to enter it. Control it. Under Wanda's guidance, Yang Dong entered the body of the robot and established a soul element connection with it. After the connection was established, Yang Dong knew what he could do with this robot body. It can deform, can speak, and the shell made of strong interaction materials can even withstand nuclear bombs. Advanced energy technology can ensure that the energy of this body will never be exhausted. It is also a system that can connect to the internet. And this thing's the shelf life is very long, and theoretically there will be no problem of parts aging in another 10,000 years. Wanda wants to try to make Yang Dong a sword holder, and this mechanical body can ensure that she will always be a sword holder. As long as the sword holder does not rotate, there is unlikely to be a problem. As for whether the opponent will suddenly give up the sword holder due to boredom after being the sword holder for a long time, Wanda thinks this should not be a problem. The mechanical body has no body hormones. Affected by it, she will lose part of her human emotions, and she will not have the emotion of boredom. Even if something goes wrong in the end, it doesn't matter, anyway, Wanda has already left this world by then. She did this out of sheer boredom, wanted to cause trouble. Yang Dong knew that he was already a dead person, so he did not change into what he was when he was alive. Instead, he controlled this mechanical body to become an inconspicuous passerby. During the time when Wanda was causing trouble, Stark was not idle either. He went to Eagle Sauce, contacted the officials there, and informed them of some important information, such as Tomoko. Stark used his intelligence and equipment advantages to successfully infiltrate the upper echelons of the human side, and unknowingly became a very important figure. He launched his own strategy there to lead mankind to win this war with the Trisolaran civilization. Stark thought that he could live for a long time anyway, so he didn't care about wasting more time in this world. Rather, 
he regarded this as an experience for himself. Unlike Tony Stark, who wants to do big things vigorously, Natasha seems to be much more low-key. She is not planning to do big things, but instead lives a low-key life as an ordinary person. When Natasha was in the Marvel world, because of the constraints placed on her by the past, it was almost impossible for her to live an ordinary life and she could only aspire to it. But in this world that has no causal connection with her, she can finally be an ordinary person. She settled in the capital of the big foodie empire, and even went to a university to find a job as a foreign language teacher. When Wanda first learned about this, her jaw almost dropped to the floor. Come on, you are a famous widowed sister. Not to mention lurking in ETO to disrupt the enemy's conspiracy, and your style of painting should not change like this. How about a killer turning into a teacher? This is not reasonable at all. However, complaints are complaints, and Wanda still expressed her support for her widowed sister's desire to live an ordinary life. Yang Dong, who obtained a robot body, took advantage of the unique advantages of mechanical life to invade the network of relevant departments and fabricated a legal identity for herself. Then she spontaneously became a wall facer and secretly launched a deterrence plan. The first step in this plan is to build a device that can send high power signals to the sun. This is not a small project. It requires a huge investment of resources and cannot be completed by her own words. So she sought the help of Quantum Ghost, Wanda, obtained an investment of 100 billion United States dollars from Wanda, and secretly launched the third Red Bank base project deep in the Virgin Forest on the Shenangjia side. This project, on the surface, is to build a hidden base. She planned to build a base first and deploy enough armed forces, and then build a super antenna. Then she would not be afraid of Sofan finding out and sending people from the ETO organization to destroy it. Half a year later, the third Hong'an base was completely completed. This is a fully automated base with very few internal staff and all defense measures are automatic machines. Of course, Wanda provided this kind of automation technology to Yang Dong. The Trisalaran Sofans may have discovered Yang Dong's behavior, but they didn't think Yang Dong's behavior would pose any threat to them, so they didn't send ETO people to destroy it. Maybe this was a kind of arrogance. On the day when the third Red Bank base was completed, Wanda came over. Are you sure you want to do that? Yes. Then please start your performance. Wanda nodded. Yang Dong operated the equipment and pointed the super antenna of the third Red Bank base at the sun. She took a deep breath, and then said to herself, I, Yang Dong, want to talk to the Trisalaran world. But nothing happened. Yang Dong C. Auntie Nude. Next, I will broadcast the coordinates of the Trisalaran galaxy to the universe. I only give you half a minute. Suddenly, two mirror-like spheres appeared in front of Yang Dong, with two Chinese characters appearing on them. Stop. The Trisolarans were frightened. Next, Yang Dong used the two Sofans in front of him to start negotiations with the Trisolarans. I won't go into specific details of the negotiations. In short, the next day, high-level officials from various countries received Sofan's message at the same time. Sofan told humans the laws of the Dark Forest and said to humans, some of you have successfully deterred us. After high-level officials from various countries questioned Tomoko, they learned that someone had secretly established the Third Red Bank base deep in the primeval forest of Shenangjia in the Great Foodie Empire, and used it to carry out Dark Forest deterrence against the Trisalaran civilization. High-level officials from various countries were shocked. Someone actually did such a big thing quietly. So not long after, United Nations L sent people to the Third Red Bank base. They saw Yang Dong, but they didn't recognize Yang Dong. After all, he was no longer what he used to be. They discussed many things with Yang Dong and decided to build more deterrence bases. After all, the Earth has to self-destruct. Once the self-destruction reaches the dark side, deterrence methods will be temporarily ineffective. In short, Yang Dong finally became the first sword holder. Tony Stark, who was with Eagle Sauce, learned about this. He was surprised that the picture of the universe was actually a dark forest, and someone also established a dark forest to deter the Trisolarans based on this theory. He thought it was incredible. Tony Stark personally came to the third Red Bank base in Shenangjia. He wanted to meet the sword holder. He met Yang Dong. The first time he saw Yang Dong, 
Stark discovered the fact that the other person was not a human being, but a robot, and this robot was the kind he produced. Stark figured it out. The robot lady who created the Dark Forest deterrent must have been written by Wanda. Wanda quietly figured out the laws of the Dark Forest and came up with an affordable Dark Forest deterrent, which made Stark feel like he was being outmatched. Obviously, Stark is also working hard to deal with the invasion of the Trisalaran civilization, and has implemented many high-level plans, but Wanda just got a robot and built a super antenna to solve the problem. How could this allow Stark to solve the problem? Tucker is not depressed. Okay, Wanda, you win. He said to the robot in front of him. Yang Dong was surprised that the other person also knew Wanda, so he asked the other person, Mr. Stark, do you also know Wanda? Oh, are you not a robot controlled by Wanda? Could it be artificial intelligence? This time it was Tony Stark's turn to be surprised. I was originally a human being, but after my death, Wanda sent my soul into this machine and told me something. She also invested in the establishment of this third Red Bank base. Yang. Dong said. So that's it. Tony Stark suddenly realized. Mr. Stark, how did you meet Wanda? Yang Dong is very curious about this question. She and I were together, but I went to Eagle Sauce and she stayed here. It turns out that you also come from a parallel world. That's right. Tony Stark chatted with the robot Yang Dong for a long time. He found that he and Yang Dong had a lot in common, and they actually became friends while chatting. Ever since Yang Dong became the sword bearer, the era of deterrence began. The people of the ETO organization were abandoned by their master, and they never received messages from the Trisalaran civilization again. However, ETO members were unwilling to be lonely. They organized several attacks against those deterrence bases, but they all ended in failure. Gradually, they fell silent, lurking in secret, waiting for new opportunities. On this day, Stark came to the Big Foodie Empire and had a party with Natasha and Wanda. Wanda, you are really good. You have accomplished great things that even I have not done without saying a word. Tony Stark was full of praise for Wanda. Facing Wanda, who was better than her, he was not jealous, but rather proud. That's because I see something of the future. Wanda said. What do you see? Tony Stark became interested. In the future, the Trisalaran civilization was attacked by the Dark Forest, and a light particle penetrated one of their suns at the speed of light. Soon after, the human solar system was also attacked by the Dark Forest, and the space was reduced in dimension by a weapon called two-way foil. What are you talking about? A dimensionality reduction attack. Stark was dumbfounded. Two-way foil sounds very powerful. Asked Natasha. Of course it is powerful, it can turn the entire solar system into a painting, which means that the solar system, including human beings, will be wiped out. Wanda said, and continued, that's not all. Once the two-dimensional foil unfolds, it cannot stop. It will continue to expand, making everything around it two-dimensional. Are there many similar blows in this universe? The corners of Stark's eyes jumped. If the two-way foil cannot be stopped once it unfolds, then sooner or later the universe will have to reduce its dimensions. It should be true. For some super-civilizations, two-way foil is a very economical weapon. Almost all the cleaners they send in the universe are equipped with it. As long as other civilizations are discovered and other civilizations can escape the attack of light particles, if possible, they will not hesitate to use two-way foil to completely wipe out the discovered civilization. There is no negotiation, no negotiation, and it will be destroyed as soon as it is discovered. Stark was silent. Dark, too dark. This universe is a pill. Originally, according to Stark's original plan, he planned to borrow Wanda's spaceship to go to the universe to find those super civilizations and learn their technology, but ever since the law of the dark forest was exposed, Stark has lost this idea. Now, when he learns about the attitude of super civilizations in the universe towards lower civilizations, he doesn't even want to stay in this universe. It's too dark here. But he is the one who said that he is here. If he is scared away like this, Stark will feel that he has lost face, and he will continue to stay even for the sake of face. Stark, what are your plans for the future? Natasha asked him. I plan to establish a research institute and use my time in this world to develop some new technologies. It seems like you plan to stay here for a long time. Natasha raised her eyebrows. 
Anyway, we won't grow old easily, we have plenty of time. Makes sense. Natasha thinks so too. To be honest, Natasha doesn't want to go back so early. She really likes her current life as an ordinary person. What about Wanda, what are you going to do next? Nada. Shaw asked Wanda again. The existence of the Q&A space gave me some inspiration, and I plan to create a special space. Wang Da said casually. Talk about it in detail. Stark is interested. Natasha is also interested. My idea is this. This space is called the main god space. There is an exchange mall in the main god space. The products in the mall need exchange points to obtain them. The exchange points need to be obtained by people in the main god space completing tasks. Do you want to cultivate elites in this way? I just think this is fun. When the time comes, I can pretend to be a newbie in the main god space and play with other newcomers. Stark. Natasha. It always feels like you are wasting your resources. Natasha rolled her eyes. Wanda shrugged. Tony Stark said, when your main god space is built, let me go in and take a look. No problem. The next day, Tony Stark left to find a place to build his scientific research base. Natasha continued her daily life as an ordinary person. Wanda began to create the main god space. In fact, she can also use the question and answer space. When used in the main god space, but using ready-made things always felt less fulfilling than the things she created. She just tinkered like this until a month later, the main god space 1.0 was released. After Stark learned about this I rushed back immediately to see the main god space that Wanda had created. Wanda took Natasha and Tony Stark into the main god space that she had created. It was a circle with a diameter of 20 meters. In the small square, there is a ball of light floating in the center of the square. Wanda pointed to the ball of light in the middle and introduced to the two of them. That ball of light is the core of the main god. As long as you walk within three meters of it and close your eyes, your consciousness will connect to its system mall. The two walked over and closed their eyes to try to connect. As soon as they closed their eyes, an exchange mall interface appeared in their minds. However, there are not many products in this exchange mall at the moment. There are knowledge-based exchanges, such as Harry Potter. The series of magical knowledge has been unpacked into individual magics and sold separately here. In order to use these magics, you need to redeem a wizard's constitution first. After all, muggles cannot use magic. In addition to this knowledge, there are also a series of technological products, such as firearms, mobile phones of various brands, various means of transportation, various scientific research equipment, etc. There are not many products in the mall, but these can be added slowly in the future, so there is no rush. Transfer some exchange points to me and I'll exchange it for something. Natasha said. It has been forwarded to you. Natasha exchanged something she was interested in. A beam of light shone down from the light ball, and the latest fruit phone appeared in front of Natasha. I went out and bought it to save money. Natasha said. Wanda couldn't laugh or cry when she saw this. Next, Stark gave a lot of opinions and suggestions to Wanda, the creator of the main god space. He felt that there was still room for improvement in the main god space. Wanda found useful suggestions. Just accept it and ignore useless suggestions. They stayed in the main god space for most of the day before leaving here. To put it bluntly, this main god space was created by Wanda as a toy. After it was created, Wanda randomly selected a few people from the world and threw it into it as reincarnations. After running it several times and looking for bugs, Wanda put it away and shelved it. Maybe she will use the main god space in the future, but so far she has not. For a while, Wanda, like Natasha, lived an ordinary life pretending that she had no superpowers. It was not until 10 years later that Stark's research made a breakthrough, and he developed new black technology. He invited Wanda and Natasha to visit his scientific research results, so the two came to Stark's secret scientific research base deep in the Sahara Desert. There are no other staff members in this scientific research base. The only living person is Stark, and the robots that help Stark are all robots he built himself. Seeing the two people coming, Tony Stark took them into the deepest part of the scientific research base. There was a spacious hall inside, and in the center of the hall was the black technology developed by Stark. What is this? Natasha asked Stark, pointing to the metal device in the center of the hall that looked a bit like a 24 refrigerator. 
This is the result of my scientific research, a quality projection device. It can project a 3D holographic image like a holographic projection, but unlike a holographic image, the 3D image projected by it has quality. Is the emotion embodied like a light ring? Natasha thought of Wanda's purple light ring. Pretty much, the light ring can materialize objects according to the wearer's imagination, and so can my mass projection device. But it's too big to carry around. Natasha complained. It's as big as a refrigerator. It's impossible to carry it with you. It's not as convenient as Wanda's light ring. This is the smallest size I can achieve, but it is not impossible to carry it with me. This requires Wanda's magic help. According to my idea, as long as Wanda creates a ring, casts a traceless expansion spell in the ring, expands the space in the ring, and then puts the mass projection device into it, it will be portable. Stark said her thoughts. As a result, she was complained by Wanda. You actually want to copy my light ring, right? This is technological innovation. Stark refused to admit that he was a copycat, and the technologies used by the two were incompatible. Next, Wanda helped to make a space ring, and according to Stark's request, the high-quality projection device was included space ring and made some fine adjustments. Finally, Stark wore the ring on his finger. Next is the moment to witness the miracle. Stark said, activated the ring in his hand, a beam of light shot out from the ring, and the latest Iron Man suit appeared on Stark's body. It is also said that it is not a copycat, it is exactly the same as the emotional manifestation of the lantern ring. Wanda continued to complain. Natasha nodded in agreement. Stark, does the battery life of your fake light ring last long? Everyone has said that this is not a copycat light ring, but a quality projection ring. Tony Stark E. M-P-H-A-S-I-Z-E-D, and then answered Natasha's question. It uses the most advanced energy technology here. Theoretically, it can be used for a long time. If we extend the space inside the ring seamlessly, if the curse is enlarged, a larger capacity battery can be installed, so battery life is not an issue. Although you are copycatting, you have to say that this is an epic making invention. I've already said this is not a copycat. They chatted on this topic for a long time. When the topic ended, Stark said with emotion, it has been 10 years since we came to this world. Yeah, a boring decade. Wanda has long been tired of staying here. Then you don't have to be bored now. Going back. Well, after 10 years of absence, it's time to go back. If you have friends here, go say goodbye. We will leave tomorrow. The next day, Wanda, Tony Stark, and Natasha left the Trisolaran universe and returned to the Marvel world. As introduced on the one-time pass to the Trisolaran universe, no matter how long they stayed in the Trisolaran universe, time in the Marvel world has not passed. It seems that to the people in this world, the three of them have never left. As soon as Tony Stark came back, he couldn't wait to find Pepper Potts. Perhaps for Pepper, he just met Stark not long ago. But for Stark, he hasn't seen Pepper Potts for more than 10 years, and he can't stop missing him. Watching Stark leave, Wanda said to Natasha, I'm going home too. I miss Chin. Go go. Natasha waved her hand. Nothing major happened for a period of time. The year 2016 in the Marvel Cinematic Universe passed like this, and the time came to 2017. In the original time and space, the second half of Doctor Strange will happen in the first half of 2017. At the end of the year, the story of Thor 3, Ragnarok will take place. After this year, at the beginning of 2018, it will be the Infinity War event in which Thanos invades the Earth. This is an extremely exciting two years. Wanda has a lot to say about this looking forward to it. Wanda's eyes lit up with scarlet light. Her eyes looked from Mars to Karmataj on Earth. She discovered that Doctor Strange was still practicing magic there, and that there were already people close to Fatty Wong and Mordo. Baron's magical attainments. Speaking of which, Wanda has come into contact with a lot of Stranges, but she has not yet come into contact with Stephen Strange in her own world. She is ready to pull the other party into the question and answer space. It is also time to open it again the Q&A was broadcast live. As the Q&A live broadcast started, Wanda, Tony Stark, and Natasha Romanoff were teleported to the Q&A space one after another. But Celine, who was summoned by them last time, was no longer there, replaced by its Stephen Strange. Are you the Avengers? What is this place and why am I here? 
Stephen Strange saw Wanda and others and recognized their identities. After all, the Avengers are still very famous. There are few people on Earth who are unaware of the existence of the Avengers, and Stephen Strange is no exception. Stephen Strange also knows Clint Barton, Hawkeye in the Avengers, who also practices magic at Karma Taj, and is technically his senior brother. This is the question and answer space. Wanda introduced this place to Stephen Strange. After listening to Wanda's introduction, Stephen Strange felt this was incredible. Speaking of which, stories about you have been played here. Natasha said. What does it say about me? Strange was very curious about this. You were in a car accident and your hands were disabled. You searched for famous doctors to treat your hands, but ended up spending all your savings. Finally, you went to Kama Taj, and your soul was slapped out by the ancient master. Tony Stark joked. Strange. I have a backup of that video here. Do you want to see it? Wanda asked him. Stephen Strange nodded immediately. Of course he wanted to read his story, especially his future. So Wanda asked about the Q&A space, Q&A system, can I take up a little time? Yes. The question and answer system responded, and it is still very smart. So next Wanda used chaos magic to project a screen in midair and played the story of Doctor Strange 1 for Stephen Strange. Watching this video, Stephen Strange's eyes widened. The first half of the video is about his experience, but the second half of the video is about his future. Wanda, Stark, and Natasha watched it with him. After reading it, Tony Stark patted Stephen Strange on the shoulder and praised, I admire the part where you and Dormammu negotiated the terms. Stephen Strange did not feel guilty. He was happy to be praised by Tony Stark, but he just felt bad. The purpose of his trip to Karma Taj was to heal his hands, not to save the world. When he suddenly learned of such a terrifying future, he was not mentally prepared at all. Moreover, Ji Yi died, and his death was so hasty that he couldn't accept it. He looked at Wanda as if asking for help. Wanda, I heard Master Ancient One say that you are a demon god. I even learned the magic to borrow your power. If it were you, I should be able to defeat Dormammu. Doctor Strange, you don't want to escape your fate, do you? Wanda suddenly showed a look of contempt. Ah, Strange looked at Wanda's contemptuous eyes, and he couldn't stand the pride of a man. He retorted, who said I wanted to escape? I just want to confirm that you can defeat Dormammu, so I won't be able to bear it. Even if you fail, you can continue to protect the Earth. Wanda and Natasha rolled their eyes at the same time. On the contrary, it was Stark who gave Strange an, I understand you, expression. Why should men embarrass men? We are all men and we all care about face. No one can bear to be looked down upon by a woman like this. At this time, the voice of the question and answer space sounded. The character summoning function is activated. From now on, you can select an audience member to join the Q&A space at odd hours. It turns out that the audience summoned in this way is a temporary audience. No wonder I didn't see Celine again. Tony Stark suddenly realized. To be honest, he was quite regretful that there was a vampire beauty missing from the Q&A space. Who are you going to call this time? Asked Natasha. Can anyone summon this tempora? Remember summoning function? Asked Stephen. Strange. That's right, not only people from our universe, but also people from other universes, and even people from some film and television literature can also be summoned. Wanda said. What is the principle behind this? Do all the characters in the story really exist? Stephen Strange thought this was ridiculous. Stark told Stephen about his theory. Stephen Strange expressed that he had learned a lot. He said, you said, if God is summoned, God will will it appear here. You are causing trouble. Natasha was speechless. Putting aside the question of whether God exists, if we really use the question and answer space to summon God, that may not necessarily be a good thing. Wanda said. Seeing Wanda, the devil girl, say this, Stephen Strange he also gave up his previous thoughts, mainly because he didn't want to offend Wanda. After all, she was a demon. If he offended her, what would he do if he couldn't borrow the other party's magic in the future? You know, among the series of magics by Kama Taj, that is, there is no need to pay for the scarlet which Wanda's magic to be borrowed. Stark said, not long ago, Pepper and I went to watch a magical movie, which was adapted from World of Warcraft. It mainly tells the story of Prince Arthas. 
The Fallen, I think the legendary mage Jaina Proudmoore in the movie is very good, we can summon her. I think you just think she's beautiful, has a celebrity face, and has the blessing of being a magician, so you want to have an affair. I will definitely tell Pepper about this. Wanda despises Tony Stark. I just want to study the difference between the magic in World of Warcraft and the magic here. Tony Stark's guilty plea. I agree with Stark's suggestion, and I've seen the movie. If Jaina Proudmoore could be summoned here, I think I would be happy to explore the mysteries of magic with her. Stephen Strange sides with Stark. I really can't stand you men. Wanda was too lazy to complain. In the end, everyone voted. Stark and Strange voted in favor, and Natasha abstained. Wanda's final vote is meaningless. The power of the Q&A space next. A female mage with blonde waist-length hair, azure blue eyes, star face and facial features, and wearing a blue mage robe was summoned to the question and answer space. She is the great human magician on Azeroth in World of Warcraft. The teacher is Jaina Proudmoore. The other person is very young and looks to be only 16 or 17 years old. It is not difficult to judge from the other person's age. In the world where Jaina lives, Arthas, the prince of Lordaeron. Menethil probably hasn't fallen yet. She appears here, looking very vigilant, vigilant yet curious. Magicians are a group that has a strong desire to explore all mysteries and unknowns, and Jaina doesn't either. Exception. From Jaina's point of view, this place is full of mystery and unknown, she can feel it. Where is this place? She asked several people present. As usual, Wanda still introduced the newcomers. At the same time, she also introduced the people here. The girl Gianna listened and showed interest. At this moment, the question and answer system the voice sounded again. Q&A live broadcast begins. A big screen appeared in front of everyone in the Q&A space, and a video was played on it. The content played this time is Miranda, the mother of Resident Evil. The beginning of the picture shows the Spanish influenza pandemic of 1918, which killed tens of millions of people. Immediately afterwards, the protagonist of the video appeared, a woman named Miranda. Influenza swept through Miranda's village, and the disease took away the life of her daughter Evelyn. The death of her daughter caused Miranda great pain. She didn't want her daughter to leave, so she kept her body. Q&A appears. Question. What happens next? A. Miranda learned magic and resurrected her daughter. B. Miranda was infected with ancient mold, gained superpowers, and preserved her daughter's consciousness. Note. You only have one chance to answer this question. Once you answer it incorrectly, the question will be invalid. Magic and mutation, two options. Tony Stark began to think about this question. The video only shows the Spanish flu pandemic, and there is no shadow of magic in it. Natasha said. But that doesn't mean magic doesn't exist in that world. Stephen Strange thinks the answer to this question might be a too little information to analyze. Wanda shook her head. Then 903 can only guess one, and the probability of guessing it is 50%. Which of you wants to answer this question? If there is no one, I will answer it. Natasha said. Let me answer it. I haven't answered the question for a long time. I chose B. Miranda is infected with ancient fungus. Wanda replied. Strange complained. You are a demon who is so magical that he can no longer use magic. You actually choose mutation instead of magic. Is there any necessary connection between me knowing magic and me having to choose B? Wanda was baffled. Wanda Maximoff answered correctly. Congratulations on getting the reward. Doctor Who's time watch a very sci-fi looking watch appeared on Wanda's wrist. This is Doctor Who's equipment, not Doctor Strange's. The former is a British TV series and the latter is an American comic, not a system. The function of this time watch is to allow the wearer to travel freely through time, to the past or the future. However, Wanda herself can travel through time, so this reward is dispensable for her. What is the use of a watch at this time? Stark saw that this thing seemed to be a technological device, and he became interested in it. It is a portable time machine that allows the wearer to travel through time. Wanda said. Please let me look into it. Stark's eyes suddenly lit up. Wanda nodded. She used chaos magic to make a copy of the time watch. She kept the original version and gave the copy to Stark. Stark couldn't wait to take it. However, I put it on my hand and figured out how to use it after just a few tinkerings. 
Such a small time machine is simply amazing. I will definitely be able to research time technology through it. Stark fell into a state of daze. Jaina Proudmore was very envious when he saw it. In her opinion, that thing was an artifact that could give humans the ability to travel through time like a bronze dragon. It was not an artifact. What is it? Stephen Strange was also envious, but it was a pity that he and Wanda were not familiar with each other, otherwise he would have asked Wanda for a replica of the time watch. But Natasha felt that the time field was very dangerous, and she reminded Star K, you'd better not use it to change history. I don't think so. Changing the past will only create a new parallel time and space, but will not affect the future. I can do whatever I want in the past. Stark obviously didn't listen to Natasha's words. Only in the Marv. L Cinematic Universe 199999, it is true that you cannot affect the future by changing the past, you can only create a new timeline. The video screen continues to play. Everyone is paying attention focused on the picture. There was a plague in the village, but Miranda wanted to keep her daughter's body like a madman, and she couldn't persuade her. As a result, she was kicked out by the people in the village. Miranda could only hug her her daughter's body left the village. She was at a loss, desperate, and had thoughts of suicide. She found a remote cave outside the village to, reunite, with her daughter in another world. When she was ready to end herself when he was dying, he accidentally discovered something in the depths of the cave that emitted a dark red light and beat like a heart. It was a weird mold body made of mold that looked like an oversized heart. This thing was later called as a fungus master. Miranda accidentally came into contact with the fungus owner, and was infected and gained eternal life and the ability to control genetic mutations. The fungus owner was able to preserve her daughter in a certain ideology through Miranda's memory. Later, Miranda returned to the village. From then on, she used the ability of the fungus owner to disguise herself as the Madonna in the village, kidnapping locals or outsiders for experiments, with the purpose of resurrecting her daughter. Countless people died indescribably in his experiments, mold covered her laboratory like a carpet. This scene made several viewers in the live broadcast room frown. They thought it was a tragic story, but they didn't expect it to be a, female devil, the story of her rise. The irony is that this, female devil, actually acted as the virgin in the village. The people in the village respected her as the mother goddess Miranda and were in awe of her. She carried out experiments in the village like this, which lasted for several in ten years, countless people were killed. During this period, she found four people who could successfully coexist with the ancient mold. Although the situation of these four people was very unstable, at least they did not mutate into monsters. Because of Miranda's experiments, these four people gained superpowers one after another, became Miranda's subordinates, became nobles in the village, and established four major families. Until the beginning of 1950, Miranda accidentally rescued a man trapped in heavy snow near the village. There was a person living there named Oswell Spencer. At that time, as a college student, Spencer admired Miranda's ability to change the human body through mold, and vowed to start a biochemical virus company that would change the world. He became Miranda's student, and as an assistant, assisted Miranda in conducting those evil and cruel experiments. But in the end, due to differences of opinion between Spencer and Miranda, they eventually parted ways, and Spencer left the village. At this moment, the screen went black and the mission was released. Mission. Enter the world of Resident Evil, redeem or kill the mother goddess Miranda. Tip. This task is not mandatory. You can choose to accept it or not. Completing the task is equivalent to answering the question correctly, and you will receive a reward. It looks like we can go on vacation to another world again. Natasha said something ironic. You call this a vacation. Although Miranda doesn't know magic, her mold abilities are troublesome even to me. Stephen Strange was speechless. I am very interested in the fungus master. If I can study that thing, I might be able to develop a super biochemical potion, said Stark. Biochemical research is not your area of expertise, so you'd better not seek death. Natasha warned. The rewards in the Q&A space are extremely valuable. If there is a chance to receive a reward, everyone will fight for it. Therefore, no one has any intention of giving up on the mission of crossing the question and answer space. After discussion, they decided to accept this task. 
Wanda, Stark, Natasha, Strange, and Jaina were transported to the world of Resident Evil by the question and answer space. The place where they landed was not the village in Eastern Europe, but Raccoon City. This is the second time Wanda has come to the biochemical world, but the time of his arrival this time is earlier than the last time. The biohazard in Raccoon City has not yet broken out. This is not that village. Natasha looked around and found that this was not Miranda's village, but a developing city. Wanda's eyes showed a scarlet light, she looked around and said, this is Raccoon City in Colorado. The city is surrounded by mountains on three sides, with only one road leading outside. Why did the Q&A system send us here instead of Miranda's village? Natasha was puzzled. Maybe something is going to happen here. Strange thought of something, and he reminded everyone. You still remember in that video in 1950, a man named Oswell Spencer said that he wanted to establish a biochemical virus company to study the mystery of human evolution. Maybe it has something to do with this. It is very possible that, looking at the situation in this city, it is not difficult to judge that the current time point is around the year 2000, which is at least several decades after 1950. If Oswell Spencer established the biochemical virus company, it would be it has developed to a certain scale. Natasha analyzed. Jaina Proudmore did not participate in the discussion of several people. Coming from the magical world, her attention was completely attracted by the wonders of the technological world. Everything she could see here was brought to her. An unparalleled sense of novelty. However, Jaina is not ignorant of technology. Technology also exists in Azeroth where she lives. What is the saying? It's called, goblin technology, shocking. But with different from the goblin technology that always causes accidents and explodes at every turn, the technology in this world is obviously more advanced. At this time, it is necessary to rely on Wanda's divination to obtain information faster. Natasha looked at Wanda. I don't know the name of the company Spencer founded, but I can divine Spencer himself. Wanda finished half truthfully, and then pretended to start divination. While she was, divining, Jaina began to ask a few people what they could see in the city. Facing this beautiful and elegant the noble female mage, Stark and Strange were both happy to answer her questions. This made Natasha roll her eyes and murmured in her heart, men are indeed unreliable. It didn't take long before. Wanda's, divination, after the results came out, she told several people. Oswell Spencer, he and two friends founded a listed company called Umbrella. The company's headquarters is in Europe. After years of development, it has become an international super monopoly company. This company is involved in many fields and has developed many black technologies. Its market value is even more exaggerated than Stark Industries. This reminds me of a sentence, wheel. TH is comparable to the country, technology is comparable to the family, it is a well-deserved behemoth. In Raccoon City where we are currently, there is a branch of Umbrella. They have also established two biochemical research bases here to study viruses that can turn people into zombies. Hearing zombies, Tony Stark suddenly said, no wonder Q&A labeled this world as the world of Resident Evil. We were transported to this city by the question and answer system, and Umbrella Company is studying zombie viruses here, which may mean that a virus leak is about to occur here and a biochemical crisis will occur. Natasha said. What does Resident Evil mean, and what are zombies? Jaina Proudmore didn't quite understand what everyone was discussing. You can think of biohazard as a man-made plague. Zombies are people infected with this plague and become living zombies. Zombies will attack ordinary people, so this type of plague is very contagious. If you are scratched or bitten by a zombie, anyone who is injured will be infected and turn into zombies. Wanda explained to Gianna. Gianna is still a girl, and there has been no undead disaster in her world, but as a mage, she is not ignorant about undead creatures. After listening to Wanda's explanation, she has an idea about this. We must stop this disaster. Jaina said with an overwhelming sense of justice. I think so. Natasha nodded. Then let's split up. Some of them will stay in Raccoon City to solve the problems here, and the other will go to the village in Eastern Europe to look for Miranda. Stark made the decision. Just leave Miranda to me, I'm enough on my own. Wanda took over this task alone. Can you do it alone? Do you need me to go with you? I'm very powerful. Asked Jaina. Proudmore who didn't yet know what Wanda was capable of. Need not. 
Wanda shook her head. Then be careful. After you deal with Miranda, help me bring the fungus owner back. I'm very interested in that thing. Tony Stark warned. Wanda nodded, and then she disappeared from everyone's eyes and went to Eastern Europe. In a country in Eastern Europe, there is a remote village far away from the city, like it is summer, and this village is completely different from the freezing environment in the Biochemical 8 game. Instead, it has green grass. At first glance, it seems to be a harmonious and peaceful beautiful countryside. But if you look carefully, you will find that the mental outlook of the people here is not very good. There are many horrific legends circulating in this village, such as vampires and werewolves. There are indeed those things around here. But it was not a supernatural creature, but the product of Miranda's experiments. Wanda came here. When the villagers here saw her as an outsider, they hid in their homes as if they had seen something dirty. The villagers know that outsiders who come here will become missing persons without any accident. If they get too close to outsiders, they will be implicated. Wanda did not contact anyone in the village. She went directly to the nearby church, where she met a blonde nun wearing a monastic uniform. This nun is very young and beautiful, but this church is very weird. What is enshrined here is not the Christian cross, but the mother goddess Miranda. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.